Hey everybody, how's it going? Hope you're all doing good. Time for some game clearing tonight. This is the last rotation, the last... Ooh, don't want to lose my controllers, hang on. Too many controllers on my desk. This is the last planned game for the planned rotation. That is last. This uh, is... That one got away from me. Let's try that again. Yeah, we're not going to go through that. Okay. Uh, hey. Hi. How you doing? Uh, <laughs> this is what happens when I sit on this screen. I like doing that. Uh, last game planned for the last game clearing rotation. After this, uh, I don't know what we're going to do. Probably just lightning rounds. Because I really only intended for ten rotations-ish if it took us a while to get through there. I only had that many planned out. We'll probably finish this game before the end of the year, but I mean, we've only got what? The four Mondays left? How many Mondays have we got in December? Uh, yeah, four Mondays. If you count today, five. Uh, so, there's only so much progress we can make, and we can't do too many long games, but I did want to actually get a long game in. Sort of. So, the the last rotation for the year has been called side questing. That was where I had a bunch of side quests I had put aside for this year in game clearing I wanted to do with my game choices. And one of the ones that I had left to do was RPG. Uh, we had done one RPG so far this year. It was actually at the very beginning of the year. We did Evoland 1. And I've kind of been in a mood lately for Bomberman. I've played a lot of Bomberman over the weekend, so I figured the only game that would be fitting to kind of do and would also fit that whole set to begin with would be Bomberman Quest. Now, Bomberman Quest is essentially an RPG. Well, it's more like an action RPG a la Zelda. Nineteen ninety nine for the Game Boy Color. Bomberman Quest is an adventure of Bomberman catching all the enemies and monsters he let free like a goober. Through the vastness of space flies the bomber shuttle. This seems really loud in my ears. No, that's about right. Piloted by our hero Bomberman. The shuttle is filled with the monsters he has caught. To be taken to Planet Bomber and imprisoned. He didn't bother giving them windows. Suddenly. Ah! The shuttle is attacked by four mysterious lights. Lights around the bomber shuttle. And steals all four of its engines. Taking advantage of the situation, all the monsters escape from their cells. Probably because, again, he didn't put any windows in. There was just bars they could fit through. Without its engines, the shuttle loses all power. And crash lands on an unknown planet. Oh, I'm okay. The newly freed monsters begin to attack the residents of that planet. Throwing the cities into panic. After awakening, Bomberman realized what he had to do. Get some seatbelts installed for next time he crashes. In order to save the planet, he would have to recapture all the escaped monsters. And thus, Purple Bomberman was freed! I wonder where the engines might be. Probably on the planet. Field where Bomber Shuttle crash landed. I don't know if I was lucky or unlucky to land in a field. Yeah, let's save our progress first. We've made so much progress. Let's go for a nice jaunt. Hello. 
Hey, you can't go down this road. There's monsters up ahead. All those monsters broke free when my shuttle crashed here. I've got to try and catch them all. Okay, you can go if you really want to, but be careful. Okay. Well, let's equip something first. Let's equip a bomb. Normal bomb, power plus one, goes off in a plus pattern. No more than two bombs can be placed at once. All right. We have no shield, and we have an, an ocarina. Returns Bomberman to the shuttle when used, can be used multiple times. And we have caught nothing. We have field zone, forest zone, beach zone, and desert zone. Well, time to go on an adventure. And we've already been stopped because we can't go through there. Now entering the field zone. Watch out for monsters. Look out, monsters. Here I come. And Purple Bomberman was on his way. Can you feel the breeze? Doesn't it feel nice? Right. Now don't you go anywhere. Just stay right there. And we get our first random encounter. Well, completely planned encounter. We need to defeat his Balon. By removing all of its tea. Once we remove its tea, we can capture it. I see we're also getting a raid. Hang on. I need to defeat this balloon first. We did it. All right. Well, here's our map progress so far. I'm being told there's a raid. Let's double check on that. Uh, yeah. Drake Dragon. Silver. Uh, da -da -da -da. Silver Kaze Ninja looks like it's Silver's raid. They did a classic. They didn't do the modern. They did not do modern, but I will give them classic. Kazi Ninja, thank you for the raid. Hopefully your stream was good. You've joined us just in time for game clearing, where we're about to start. Bomberman quest, because we're on our, on our job, on our way to do an RPG. That is the plan. And this is the most action RPG Bomberman-ish game I have, because I don't think I have any of the actual RPGs. Well, I, maybe I do. I have Bomberman Story. But either way, that's not important. We need to go capture some monsters. So far, we've captured... Uh, Balom! Extremely weak, attracted to bombs. So let's see what's down here. Oops, not that. Ancient ruins, no entry! Hmm. Well, let's go in anyways. Is the one with Wario in it? No, that's literally called Wario Blast. Beware of falling rocks! Okay, I better be careful of falling rocks. Oh no, there's falling rocks! I better be careful! All right. Hey, do you want a slice of me? Here, I bet it makes your eyes water. Oh no, it's an onion monster! Stop it, you're making my eyes water! I mean, he did tell you that was gonna happen. Let's fight the onion together! Four hit points. Two hits left. Uh oh, whoa. Okay, one hit left. Come on, let's get him. Careful, bomber. It looks like you can just walk over the bombs, no problem. Hey! 
Let's see. What did they drop? Ooh, a new item. Dash shoes allows Bomberman to walk faster as long as the button is pushed. Oh, thank God. Because I think that was one of the major complaints last time we played this was how slow the movement was. We've also got a bomb component. Fire times one. Increases bomb firepower by one when used. Destroyed when used. And that was a Onil, weak monster attracted to bombs. Oh yeah, we move way faster now, look at that. Are you heavy enough? Huh, what's that supposed to mean? It means eat a sandwich, my dude. All right, we have enough for one, but we don't have enough for the other. And I can't drop bombs on it, so I guess we're not making any more progress here. So let's, uh, can we toot toot on that flute? We can. Sick. All right, let's save our progress. We've done a lot today. Now, uh, since we're playing this, some of you might remember a couple years ago in Game Clearing, we did something for the 64th game. I think this was like 2018 we did this. Uh, we did Bomberman 64, but because we wanted to do another game as well, we thought it'd be funny because they had similar names that we would do Bomberman 64 and Quest 64 at the same time. But... Since we're doing an RPG, and I picked a game called Bomberman Quest, I thought it'd be really funny if I did literally the exact same thing again. And instead, we're actually playing Quest RPG. Brian's Journey! Somehow, somehow it lined up perfectly. It lined up absolutely perfectly. And we got to do it again. Say hello to Quest yet again. We're doing it again! We're fucking doing it again! Welcome to Quest RPG, Brian's Journey. The actually surprisingly better version of Quest 64. <laughs> Released for the Game Boy Color in 1999, the same year as Bomberman Quest, believe it or not. Uh, and published by Sunsoft. This is actually considered the better version of Quest 64 because it actually has a plot. And the magic mechanic works better. And everything else. <laughs> so that's what we're actually playing. Uh, we are probably going to do the exact same thing we did last time in 2018. We are going to play both Bomberman Quest and Quest RPG. Bomberman Quest is apparently only like four hours long. It's not that bad. We could finish that in one stream. But this guy is going to take at least two, so... So, let's all have some fun, shall we? This explains the comments about too many controllers. Oh no, I always have controllers on my desk at all times. There's like, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven on there right now. Eight, I missed one. Uh, Southland, an island where magical spirits abound. A land of friendly, contented people who owe their pleasant lives to the four spirits, wind, water, earth, and fire. A beautiful, rich land of tall mountains, clear waters, and fresh breezes, known to inhabitants as Southland, the Isles of Benevolent Spirits. This is the abode of magicians who have become powerful through a pact with the spirits. There are apprentices. There are apprentices in the Melrode Monastery, among them the young apprentice Brian. So are you going to be playing Varmint Quest with the same input as Quest RPG? Actually, for the bit, I had to set up an emulator for it. Uh, I, I grabbed the cartridge, then I realized I only had one way to, to uh, stream physical cartridges. So I actually had to use an emulator to pull that switch off as fast as I did just this then. Is a present uh, if we do actually do Varmint Quest, I'm just going to start it off again and what? pop it into the GameCube like I've got Quest right now. Well, friends, I look forward to meeting you people again. Brian, it's here again. Today, we will get you... Good! We've got it! Well, good job, Brian. You killed something. Lavar, what are you doing here, Brian? Gabriel, the monsters are skulking about, so it's dangerous outside. I'm sorry, but I saw a monster. Hmm, it's been infiltrated by monsters. Is that right? It is dangerous here. Leave this to us and return to your room. Yes, sir. Do-do-do-do-do-do. 
Oh, you're home, Brian. Where have you been? It's, it is dangerous to be outside. Now just go to bed. Okay, Dad. Your magic has improved lately. Do you know why? One reason, of course, is that you are my son. But the spirit lends its power to a heart that is pure. In other words, your magic has heart. I know it's difficult to understand. I don't want to understand. I'm going to bed. Gilmean, good morning. Sirius has summoned you. Let's go to the chapel. Okay. Well, I did say we, but you lead the way. Oh, there is something I must ask you. Did you see Lavar and Gabriel yesterday? Why? What happened? Well, I guess I better tell you. They stole a book. It's a precious book belonging to Grand Abbot. It would be terrible if the secrets of the spirits are disclosed and the unwise begin using magic. Is there anything I can do? You can hit things with a stick if you want. Bart will search for them. I want you to go to town and listen for word of them for gossip as to their whereabouts. Bart is preparing to do something in the yard, so it might do you good to listen to him. Yes, sir. And I don't have control yet at all. He's just doing all this on his own. And now we finally have access. Here we go. Here's our boy, Brian. We've got 1% of every element, 50 hit points, 15 magic, 15 agility, and 15 defense. No items. No wings. We have a save. Whoever owned this game originally apparently really liked it because they finished it. They got max magic. At least I assume they finished it based on that. And we've got no vulbs or spirit gemstones. Bart, I'm going out for a while. What a mess. Brian, I want you to look after the house. Okay, Dad. Oh. Oops. Okay, sorry. I mashed, we, so we just got a point put into fire. Is that a Vulb? No, that's still not even a gemstone. So from what I remember seeing about this version of the game is that we actually have to, uh... We actually had to put points into other magic spells this time around, because apparently putting points into one magic type increases the spell count in another, so they actually balanced it better than Quest 64, which I guess wasn't a high bar. Oh, I guess I probably should also mention, this is actually the mod choice. So, uh, the mod who chose this is, unsurprisingly, the same mod that chose Quest 64. Back in 2018, Dragonfire picked this one, so. But here's the funny thing. He actually forgot that he picked this. <laughs> and I ended up picking it, and I didn't realize it. I didn't get it set up in time. I could have done a third fake out. <laughs> Because he actually thought I was picking the uh, the third game he had suggested, which was Dragon Quest IV. But that was a little too long to do at the end of the year. But we could have done a third fake out with Quest in the title, which was hilarious. Although it would have said Warrior, because I would have probably popped into the NES cartridge. John, don't you dare. Dude, you would have, come on. If it happened again, you would have laughed. If there had been another Jape and I had just cut away, you would have laughed your asses off. You would have been annoyed, but also it would have been really fucking funny. I do want to do the Dragon Quest at some point. Like, I, I've only beaten one. But I've played, like, two... Uh, I think I played a bit of four. I'm trying to think of what else I've played. I know I played eight, nine. I actually could have done a fourth fake out by showing webcam Oculus Quest. I can't! My fucking Facebook account for the Oculus is still locked, because 
Facebook hasn't gotten back to me about it, so I can't do shit with it. I'm basically about a paperweight. Have I played or beaten Rocket Slime? Yes, Rocket Slime's great! I wish we'd gotten the sequel over here. Sheep. Magic. Uh, let's put that in water this time. Wow, this year we had a bumper crop. Three rocks, you sure did. Tim, the powers of the great spirit on a dark night in the deep woods. There is an unfathomable power. Who is there? Now that I've seen you, you are not leaving here alive. What? Okay. Let's fight! I choose Wind Cutter level 1! I choose Rock level 1! I choose to hit you with a stick! Can sword defeat stick? Who will win? Stick wins! Select an element. Uh, let's put it in wind. Technically we did get a sequel to the Saint. The game we got was the second one. And okay. Something must be happening. I must report to Sirius. Go get that treasure first, you do. You do for steal it. Fresh bread! And we got one hit point out of that fight, too. Excellent. Still had a bumper crop of grass. You did great. Enjoy your bumper crop of grass while I wander around. And hope that one of these buildings is an inn. Nowadays, everyone's talking about monsters. I like talking about bread. Do you like bread? I don't have any here, I just like the concept of it. Store man, I would like to buy some sleep. Ah, is there anything you want? Yes! Are you... Are you not selling? Have I misunderstood how this works? Okay, bye! <laughs> this door doesn't open. It's painted on. Oh, may I help you? I... Can, can I go to sleep? Ma'am, I'm bleeding! Let me go to bed! I'm just stealing a bed then. Sleep is for the weak. Yeah, I'm pretty weak at the moment. I lost half my health in that fight. The dude had a sword. I had a stick. I love this. I love this. They messed up the sprite overlay, so they've got the trees are underneath the dirt. That, that rules. Hell yeah. Or they, Oh, no, they're implying this is just really high dirt. I guess that's what they're going for here. Never mind. That makes more sense. Still a little weird looking, though. Especially with this. Dad, you still in here? Bye, Dad. Really high dirt. Nope, oh, automatic. Sirius is waiting. Well, thanks. I was on my way there, and you stopped me. Yeah, 
Listen to me, Brian. Bart is missing, but we can only pray and wait for a safe return. He, he left. He said he was going out. Serious, Grand Abbott has summoned Brian. That's so, Brian, go to him. Okay. Am I doing it automatically? Yep. Grand Abbott, Brian, it was good of you to come. I had a dream about the future. You will go on a quest. RPG, Brian's journey. There are grand, or there are monsters in Southland. <laughs> Even so, you must go. I will not tell you what awaits you at the end of the journey. So tell Sirius and ready yourself for quest. <laughs> ready yourself for quest. The time has come for your journey. Brian's journey. Now go! There's a visible trace like smoke close to a spirit. Press the A button if you find it. Then you'll be able to obtain an element of ether. One of the four spirits. By pressing the arrow button on the control pad. Good. I don't have to read these books. Is this my bedroom? Can I take a nap? No, but I'm stealing someone's shit. Spirit gemstones obtained. I don't know what that does. Let's find out together. Never mind. We have one, though. Is that supposed to be the money? Is that our currency? We've got one, though. That's the important thing. Ooh, there's a mailbox. Maybe that's our house. So I'm going in someone else's. I can't believe you're going on a quest! <laughs> Promise me that you will return. I'll be waiting. I wonder if they were really excited to keep writing that in. The mailbox was empty. Alright, this looks like my room. Go to bed, Brian. Oh, fuck off. I can't go to sleep. I need to heal. I don't want to eat bread. I want to sleep in bed. Maybe this isn't my... Maybe that's not my house. Is this my house? No, that was definitely my house. I'm not allowed to sleep in my house anymore. Dad gets kidnapped and then everything goes wrong. So Grand Abbott is sending you on a voyage! Oh, I see what you did there. Of apprenticeship. Prepare for the journey. I will entrust you with this talisman. You'll be able to use powerful magic with this. Also, feel free to take anything you see here. Already on it. What, what did you trust me? You... What, what did you give me? You said you gave me a talisman. I want it. Where's my talisman? Do you still have questions? Yes. I'll be praying for your well-being. Where's my talisman? That bread wasn't the talisman. Better not have been. I'm not in the mood for a talisman of bread. Give me some power. Or a bed to sleep in. Either one really would be helpful now. When you find the treasure box, press the A button. There are some in this monastery. The spirit hides in many places, and if you win battles, the spirit will add to your strength. I got a dewdrop. I think that's MP if memory serves. I'm going to assume this game doesn't tell me what the items do. Spirit gem zones. And dewdrops again. Yep, two gemstones. Yep, yep. All right. That's that. The talisman was a friends we made along the way. We haven't even got made any friends yet. When fresh bread is gone, please come again. Oh, well, in that case. Hey, I have no fresh bread. Hello? 
Hello? Hello? Bread? Please? Oh, for fuck's sake. Hang on. Gotta leave. They didn't expect me to just eat the bread in front of them. I baked this fresh bread. Take it with you. Oh, thank you. I was stealing your stuff. Honey bread. I took your even better bread. Fuck you. What do we got? Two dew drops, fresh bread, and honey bread. I'm gonna assume honey bread is just better bread. Oh, Marmaduke, you're my favorite. So, Brian, you're going on a quest? 64? It seems Bart has gone to Lara Pool. Wait, everyone said he was missing. How the fuck do you know where my dad is? And this is where we came from, so yeah, let's go. It's time to quest. RPG. Brian's Journey. For the Game Boy Color. 1999. All right, are there any houses we did not ransack before we leave? I don't think we've been in here. My mother said it is dangerous because there are many monsters. Don't worry, I'll hit him with a stick. I assume I can use the shop now. Long time ago, Southland was almost destroyed because of a certain book. It shows that you should not use anything that comes from outside of the territory. <laughs> No imports, ever. Oh no, you you want to talk about... Yeah, thanks to spirits, my grandchildren are healthy. Oh, that was different. Can we use this door? We can! Oh, that's actually how you leave town. Oh my god. What do you have? Oh, is there anything you need? Y yes! I will give you white wings. You can always return here with them. Come back to me if you lose white wings. Okay, so they're just separate wings again. You can't use wing here. So those are fast travel. Can I sleep in the inn now? Don't you feel tired? Please rest here for the night. We'll take good care of you. Please do not overexert yourself. What even is my... Oh, I'm fine. I forgot I was using the stick most of that battle, and I ate the bread. Ah, the beach! I can take that vacation I've always wanted. I really miss Bart. He used magic to save me and kill the monsters. Kill the monster. Everyone respects him. I miss Bart. <laughs> Your dad was great. Hope you find him. Yep, nothing we can do. Let's leave town. Let's go! There's a lot of high land around here. Oh, that looks bad. Uh, hang on, let's use... Fireball, level one. Let's try a water pillar. That's probably just super close. Yeah. Oh no, I got him! Big mouth. Good thing his aim sucks. It looks like the leveling up system is also basically the same, where physical damage and physical attacking level up stats. So we're gonna be clubbing things for a little bit here, I think. Have I ever played Imagination for the Game Boy Color? No, but I'm familiar with it. Final Fantasy II looks funny. I mean, it kind of, yeah, it kind of does have some of that, doesn't it? Oh, Hellhounds, okay. Ooh, 
Okay, we're kind of in trouble. Uh... Yeah, we're already taking a lot of hits here. I gotta figure out which way to level up my my magic for healing. I'm a little concerned about that. Because we've already lost a lot of health. We've only been in like two fights. I, mean, I need that bread already. Healing is water. Yeah, but the problem is it putting you putting points into one element gives you spells in a different element in this version. So putting points in water isn't going to give me healing. I don't remember what I actually have to pick, though, to do that. They changed it because they realized people were only putting points into the spells they wanted. Like healing. So they, they changed it so it actually, like, was somewhat helpful to put points into other spells. I guess. I mean, I know. I think it's a little silly, too, but... Let's be real. Like, most people who play Quest put their points into one spell, and that's kinda it. Oh, they're all wind. Uh... Rock, maybe? Yeah, that's the answer. Apologies if you already answered this, but does running in circles give you any benefit? I am not sure. I assume since, uh, I assume the agility now is basically from running around in these fights. I'm not sure. A uh, cool one. Yeah, feel free to look stuff up. I'm not, I'm not really against that. I could, I would like to not be super stuck. to get them. Healing is water, earth. Healing level one, four MP. Water, earth is the first healing spell. Okay. Did I leave Bomberman in baby jail again? I put him back in his broken rocket. Ooh, a tiny house. Beyond this are Dondoran and Connor Forest. Stay away from the forest because of the bandits there. Okay, can I sleep in your bed? No? Okay. Oh, you look full of vitality. Dude. Are you sure about that? <laughs> are you sure? Can I dodge his spell while he's using it? Oh fuck, I can! Oh, that's kind of cool, actually. That's kind of cool, actually! I'm gonna get my agility up so I get more movement options. I don't think that was actually an option in 64 proper. I think you had to take the hit. Or no, no, I think you could sort of move around, wasn't it? I... It's been a bit. I know movement you cared more about for, like, your actual movement range. Yes, you could dodge. Okay. In this game, you must use the skills you want to build. If you want to be stronger, use your staff more. If you want more defense or HP, get hit more. If you want more agility, dodge more hits. Oh, okay, so that's how I build it up. Is My jelly gets up by moving away from the attacks. So it's a good thing we realize that now. If you want more MP, use your magic more. Okay, so yeah, it's it's basically Final Fantasy 2. Yeah, I can't combine any spells yet, so. Are we on health? 30. Oh, 
know what I actually haven't figured out? I can! Okay, there we go. I say I would have been in trouble if I couldn't do that. Ooh, some of those are hard to dodge, though. Agility already went up a little bit. We're at 19 agility, so it's trying. Our defense is not doing the best, though. Hit it with the stick. Hit it with the stick. Uh, yeah, he wants... He's gonna want water as his weakness, but he's so far away, I can't do that right now. Or we can just shatter him to pieces anyways. He, man, Brian really jumps. I am, however, nervous about the fact that we've taken so many hits I'm already out of bread. Uh, can I make it to Dondra? Uh, should I even try? I wonder if I should warp back. It might take a little bit of grinding at the beginning if I had to guess. What do you think, chat? Should we warp back? Because we have we have the honey bread still. Could just eat that and try to make it to the next town. Do you heal on level up? Uh, no. There's no leveling up. It's just, uh, just increasing your max stat, basically. Warp back, warp back. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Save the bread, save the bread. That's what I'm thinking. Let's save here. Oh, I guess we could also just save scum. We can also just do that. Oh, shit. We have not fought any of these yet. This may have actually been a mistake. Do I even have anything that could reach him? Fireball, maybe? Uh, okay. Put it in the water. I don't know how many we need before we can start combining. Got it! We've got healing already. Nice. Oh! Um... Okay, well, it's a good thing we didn't warp back, I guess. Is that taking four or two? Two, it only takes two MP to heal. That's really generous, actually. Okay. Well, then we're set now. And of course, oh, right before the town. God damn it. I don't know how you're supposed to dodge these. Some of these are just really tricky, too. Fresh bread obtained. Nice. Actual item drops, too. This is my house now. Do I still get MP for walking? I don't think so. I think this, think this time around it's MP for actually using your magic. Which makes a lot more sense, let's be real. Have you heard about the forest bandits? What was stolen was the thing called Earth Orb. It is said that long ago this orb averted the biggest calamity ever to strike Southland. We must save the orb. Let's get stuck on a wall, and then go save the orb. Welcome to our town of Dondoran. Will you be staying tonight? Hell yeah. Have you slept well? Come back again. 
Just like in the original, it looks like everything is free to do in the stores, so... We don't have to pay for sleeping. Here's a guy that had to level each stat. There we go. Thanks, Cool Bond. I can give you fresh bread anytime. When you want more, come again. Oh, you already have Dewdrop. Well, I'll see you again. Oh, oh, thanks, guys. I could always use more. I'm on a quest. Pants are pocketed by the forest and Connor Forest. We cannot go to the forest to dig for clay because of the bandits. at least. And all spirit speedrun for this game is 1 hour and 47 minutes? What? How? You must be a spirit monk from Meldro, uh, Mel Road Monastery. I will give you yellow wings. Well, I see that you have yellow wings already. If you lose them, you can have another pair. I mean, to be fair, we got healing exceptionally fast, and it's pretty cheap, so I guess I could see just going straight for anything you need. But if it's all spirits, then you've got to find, like, all the actual, like, founts, right? Must be a spirit dupe again. It's not hard to gain spirits. But Mama say we cannot play outside because of the bandits. It's no fun anymore. Uh, I'm wondering what we should be putting these points into. Oh wow, this guide actually breaks things down really well. Holy shit. HP governs maximum aid, health, and staff damage output. So H max HP dictates how strong my staff attack is. Okay. Increases by attacking with staff, 10%. Being attacked by physical attack, 10%. Doesn't increase by getting hit with magic attacks, which is most of the attacks. And early grinding tip, encounter a man-eater and stand in place underneath it. Every attack that lands on you increases the HP stat by 10. It's weird, the Maneater missed most of its attacks, though. Dondran is a pottery town. People come all the way from Limelin beyond Loch Kildry to buy our pottery, but we cannot work because of the bandits. MP increases by using spells 6%. Doesn't increase by getting hit with magic attacks. Grinding tip, but doesn't it, it doesn't appear that spell level increases the stat at all. So for best bang for your grinding buck, use only level one spells. Ah, uh, so it's the same as the original. What? What? <laughs> Rocks just drink too much. Can't, just can't. They're always thirsty, those damn rocks. I know you want clay instead of rocks, but still weird to see that written down like that. Uh, did I miss any houses? The king is also troubled by the bandits in the woods. If nothing is done, they may even invade our town. Do you know Princess Flora? She's a tomboy, but very cute. She looks just like the late queen. That's why you're hiding in, like, a pit to say that, because you're scared, I guess. And there's the wing, the wing house. There's the inn. They say that the bandits of Connor stole treasure from the castle. They said that there are rumors of war in Baragoon. Please pray that Miss Flora's meeting with the matchmaker will be successful. I'm here to fuck things up. Let's see what we can screw up today. Let's go, Brian. That tomboy princess is already of age for matchmaking. How time flies. Wait, 
Wait, so in that case, if so... Oh yeah, we can do rock level 2 now. Sick. Ooh, spirit armor. Okay. So it looks like when we get to uh, a spell to level 4, we can actually start combining. So let's put points into the next element so we can start doing some crazy combinations. Alright, agility. Governs movement, range in battle, and possibly attack order. Increases by ending your turn in a different location in battle. 4% per square moved. Doesn't increase by simply dodging enemy attacks, moving in the overworld. Grinding tip. Encounter a man-eater and continue to sprint around the edges of the combat zone, avoiding escaping combat and avoiding their rock one attacks. So just fucking taunt him. That kind of rules. I kind of want to do that. <laughs> It is the right time to even have meeting with the matchmaker? Alright, let's start getting these other elements to four so we can start doing some combination spells. So it's basically running in circles again? Yes, but in a menu now. Oh, automated. Princess Flora, it's not, it, it is not too early to go to a matchmaker at age 14. I'm more worried about the bandits than meeting to arrange my marriage. Getting rid of the bandits is the work for warriors. People will laugh at you if you act too much like a boy. It was father who made the decision on his own. Hi, I'd like to steal your stuff. It has bad manners to peek at someone when she is dressing. I think she's already dressed. I will keep quiet, so come over here. I'm putting you in the dungeon. Oh, I found ham. There are only rocks. What a boring town. Flora, what kind of girl is she? The king has returned. This way, please. Alright, I'm just, just odd, doing a lot of auto walk in here. Defense increases by being attacked plus 3% per 4 damage received. Oh, that's going to take a while to go up. Ham says, I am honored that you granted me this audience. I have come today to introduce Dorley to you. Dorley, what have you heard about Flora? I have heard that she is a very energetic girl. And then she killed us all. Who goes there? Sol Solvering, what a greeting! Have you forgotten me, whom you banished to the forest? No, no, are you Solvering? As promised, I've come for the hand of Flora as the King of Beasts! Nonsense, the princess is mine! I will destroy you if you stand in my way! And I did. Come! Eek! Bye! Come and get it if you want the princess back! That is, if you can overpower these men here! Go, small child! Save them! Oh, that's one damage. That's not good. How about a rock? That missed. Alright, that's some good damage. Let's use... Oh, wrong button. Let's use the wrong button! Hit him with a stick, Brian! This isn't a bad idea. <laughs> this is starting to look like a bad idea. I'm glad that only one enemy attacks at a time. We're gonna be the strongest child with these... with all these stick attacks. I think we're actually gonna need to use some magic. Water pill over two. Oh, he's fucking dead. <laughs> You know, I can just heal, right? Like, I can just ignore you completely.
In fact, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna start running away. Fuck you. I'm gonna hide behind the HUD. You'll never be able to find me. He found me. This is building up my agility. This is the saddest thing. Extra heal again. And back to stick fighting. This is really gonna help, actually, our HP defense a lot. Why are you running? You got this. Running builds up your agility. So it actually is helping me to just do this. The more my agility's leveled up, the more we can move per turn in combat, which means we don't have to, like make these tiny moves or be out of range of enemies. So I can move a bit, then I can do a healing spell, because skipping a turn gives me back MP. So, like, it... Now that we have the healing spell for a while, it's gonna be kind of impossible to die. Because it's only 2 MP to heal, and we get 2 moves, we get it back. Receive XP at the end of the battle or mid-battle? I'm going to assume that all happens at the end. But if it's not, that would kind of rule. Yeah, Alright, that's enough. Let's just end this fight. Alright. Now we can do level 2 fire spells. Bravo, Mr. Spirit Monk! Oh yes, you are Bart's son. I implore you, please save Flora. You must be under a great deal of pressure because of the theft of the Elatale book. But you must destroy Solver Ring. Okay, bye! Didn't ask for a reward or anything. Alright, so our HP is now 60, our MP went up by 1, and our Jilly went up by, by 5. Alright, so that actually worked out pretty good. Our HP went up by 6. Alright, you know what? That went pretty good, all things considered. That's already a pretty good increase, and if HP goes up, so does our strength for our physical attack. Please save Flora. I have heard about you from Grand Abbott, but now we must tend to Princess Flora. Okay. I'm still gonna steal all your stuff. Dewdrop! Dewdrop! Spirit gemstones. What do the spirit gemstones do? I, f I feel like they were in the original game, but I don't remember. They weren't like a case of the more you had, the more powerful your magic got, was it? You use them later. Okay. Princess Flora. Might as well just heal. Alright, so we got moved around so many rooms, I don't even remember what ones we have and haven't been in, per se. Because this is where we met Ham. I assume we can go steal Flora's stuff now? It's probably more dew drops if I had to guess. I am here to steal the princess's stuff. Please say Princess Floor. Okay, sure. Fresh bread. Fresh bread. And do drop. Ah, the real sign of a princess keeps bread in a treasure chest. That anyone can open. We call those emergency bread rations. 
I love this library with nothing in it. Which you stole. Shh, shh. We left that part out. I already did everything else over here, right? Yeah, you're probably gonna say, Scoundrel! Silvering! Yeah, I think we already raided everything else, so I think we're good to leave. Quickly checking here. Oh yeah, there's a lower path. It never occurred to me that the bandit was solvering. All right, what was the enemy they suggested? A man eater to level up like all your stats? I'll probably just end up doing that. Did you see solvering? They say that the bandits of Connor stole treasure from the castle and the princess, but well, I left that part out. In, we're good for that. We're good for dewdrops and bread. What is our inventory right now? Dewdrop, dewdrop, honey bread, fresh bread, dewdrop, dewdrop, fresh, fresh, dew. Okay, it's not unlimited spaces, but we've still got a surprising amount of room. Ooh, garlic bread is good, Chad, good choice. What were the options on that bowl? Garlic, sourdough, white, wheat, and pretzel. Yeah, garlic was the right choice. It's the dessert bread. Okay. Let's see if we can get a little bit more. So our agility, remember these numbers, 60, 17, 24, and 17. I, I'm gonna work on agility for a little bit here first. Uh oh. Oh, we've already got a ton more room to move around. Holy shit. Bagel, it's okay, buddy. Oh, and now we can escape from fights. And that also upped our agility. <laughs> It's okay, buddy. I guess I should be hanging around him because doing that is what actually, physical attacks are what actually build up my defense. I'm also trying to build up agility here. They said it was something like 4% per square you can move. So is it four, is it basically every turn is end up being before? Unfortunately the spells do nothing, so I've gotta be, try to keep him somewhat in range. to the manager. Does Bagel still have the cone of shame? No, he's been freed from it because he hasn't been picking at his eye. <laughs> Karen, yeah, okay, he figured it out. Defense doesn't specify attack type. Oh, shit, you're right.
How's Bagel doing? He's doing better, but he's still complaining. He wants to go out, and we're not letting him. All right, we circled around a couple times. Let's just let's just move on. So that's probably what one or two points. Two points. Yep, 27. We started on 25. So HP's at 61 now, and defense is at 18. I still want to hit to get the to get physical too. I know I, I still want to do that, but I also want to make sure I have enough movement range that I don't get trounced by enemies. go. It's time. Looks like our first proper dungeon is the forest. As the cat is still crying off into the distance. Oh, that's a big boy! Frog Knight! Are all the enemies straight up from the N64 game? It kind of looks like it. say hi and cause trouble. Ah yes, two very convenient boulders. Have you considered a catio for bagel? We have considered it, but also we live in a very cold place, so we can't always do that. He also wants like what Reese said. She's off camera uh, or off mic. Uh, Bagel likes to roam, so I don't think the catio idea really jazzes him up too much. Two is at level 13 water earth earth if you want the power level. Well, I'm not gonna power level that much I'm just building up my stats enough so that we have enough movement range so we don't get just trounced by any bosses Like right now. I'm like trying to get uh, MP up a little bit That's why I'm using the, the characters like strength Since it's like, was it every four, it's four percent per spell or something like that. Yeah, we've already got 18 hit point or MP now. How 
How do we already almost have as much health as this file that looks pretty done with the game? Except for HP. I guess the HP is just not that important in this one because of healing. Bats are water type? What? Or they just have access to both? Oh, it's not even doing any damage. Uh oh. Now oh, they just got access to both. In that case, I should heal a bit more. I had 18 after the last fight. Ah, oh, damn it. The guy does say that magic doesn't train HP, and that's the most of the damage they'll take. I mean, yeah. Here we go. Level 2 on everything now. He's at 19. Those are kobolds? Not what I would have thought. I guess we did already fight them. I guess it never really dawned on me. Oh, I might, uh... Okay, good. Come get me! Come and get me! You can reach me eventually! You can do it! I believe in you! You're almost there! Oh yeah, what was it? What was? Let's see what spirit armor will do. Not that's gonna matter. D up. I'm already doing one damage anyway. It's not like it's gonna make a big difference. I'm just gonna do this every now and then in a fight, just run around and kind of build up agility. I feel like that's gonna be the most helpful thing. Because if this is still building defense, these like these weak one kicks, then I think we'll be fine. Because it's, I think it's like every four damage we get something. Japanese kobolds are dogs due to a mistranslation in the Japanese D&D monster manual. Oh. really want to build up MP too, I could just do this. Just whiff spells. Cause I, they didn't say it was damage, it was they just said using spells.
I hear that Lady Hellbender has full points in all four elements. God damn it. Hopefully I'll get to play a bit more of that for myself later. I have just been playing a shit ton of Bomberman lately in my spare time. Just really got in a Bomberman mood and I beat like four of them this weekend because I was on bagel duty. So I was like, okay, well, I can't really play anything that'll... that will take too much time. Like, I can't play Halo or anything like that, so... Just popped in Bomberman, beat one. I'm like, oh, I guess I'll go beat another one. No, oh, I guess I'll go beat another one. And then that just kept happening. How to get element experience? Kills. There's like a, there's just a generic experience meter per, for every enemy. So it's just straight up killing an enemy gives me magic experience, but everything else is doing shit like this. Alright, I'll get to the bottom corner of the screen and then we'll kill him off. I hear that Lady Hellbender can move across the entire field! This is casually shooting shots behind me. I'll be dead eventually, Kobold. Alright, let's see what that did. Let's see what happened. Agility's 32! Alright, well that worked. Defense is 20, MP is 20, and HP is 64. Yeah, because I don't think we didn't take... We didn't take very many physical hits on that one, but... That still worked! There we go. We should have a lot more room to move in fights now. That's probably all we need to do for quite a while. Eh, it didn't really seem like it made that big a difference, but... Did it say Mario Nasty? Or Mario Nasty, because I'm Marionette. Okay. Mario Nasty. I'm curious what that third file's agility is. I am too, if you want me to be honest. I almost want to boot it up and find out. We could. You know what? Yeah, because it should put us right back where... Here, let's grab this first just in case. I'm legit curious. Sixty-six. So it's about double what we currently have. Fight. Let me get in a random fight and see how much the movement is. Oh, that thing's got a lot of movement. And we. Oh my god! <laughs> That's like almost half the screen. Okay. It's fast because it's a turtle. Oh, yeah, you know. 
course. And that's why it's good to up the upload, to level up your agility. Because look at how small ours is by comparison. that hitting with the stick doesn't seem to give more MP than just one, but that might just be where we are in the game at the moment. I <laughs> heard the Lady Hellbender can use five elements. Ah, yes. Fire, water, wind, earth, and muscle. The more you can level agility, the faster you can level agility, funnily enough. Yeah, I know. It's very self-fulfilling in that sense. I'm trying to move as much as I can when getting in these fights. But I also don't want to just grind out everything and slow everything down. Like, I, it doesn't seem like there's too much grinding we even need to do in this compared to the actual N64 one. Everything's been pretty cut and dry so far. As long as we can heal. I just, we just had to wait for a situation where we have an enemy that can out-damage us, essentially. This game has a 4 out of 10 on Metacritic for being watered down and oversimplified in the RPG areas of the game. I mean, yeah, that's what Quest 64 was, so... It's not shocking. Hi! Hello! What's it doing? You need to poop, don't you? You got poop ruin. Go poop. can play the healing game. room on my desk, you silly. Here, I gotta, I gotta knock shit out of the way. Uh-oh, I'm knocking over stuff. It's not even you doing that, it's me. I'm trying 
trying to find rubber bands on my desk? I'm gonna hide them. spot that I can't put you on camera because you're standing right in front of me and you're covering up the chat. Say hi to everyone, don't you? Well, I guess we can just do this for a bit. It's actually a pretty fast way to get that HP up. While I deal with someone blocking my way. Mm-hmm. Yeah, who could that be? He's back to being troublemaker, so he's feeling better. What, is, what do you think Bigel thinks of you, John? Dad or peasant? Uh, I think I can't tell if he thinks I'm a dad or if he thinks I'm just his buddy. It's a mix of both, isn't it? All right, are you lying down? You're knocking off my keyboard? No, you're gonna sniff the computer? Okay, you're gonna sniff the monitor? You're gonna sniff chat? Hi. Hi, what's chat smell like? Tell me what chat smells like, buddy. Chat shower today. You put on some nice perfume and cologne. Sit there. He's gonna sit there and stare at me. Stare at my arm. Cool ranch musk. Ew. Nice art. At the beginning of that, in that fight, our max health was 69. Now it's 76. So that worked pretty good. Isn't that exactly... Oh, it's too off from that other file. Damn. Well, there we go. What was that? Agility is 34 and defense is 22. Okay.
fresh bread. Anybody? Vega, what are you doing? Are you headbutting the chat? Hi. Yes, sir, they appreciate you headbutting them. They like it. Almost as free us from our staticky prison. He's trying to save you, chat, from the perils of the internet. Oh, where are you going? What are you doing, buddy? You can't go up there. Giant shoes! What did those do? I genuinely don't remember what those do. Now we have as much health as that other file. Nice. And they need to be more movement in battle. Uh, okay. I mean, we're already kind of working on that. Nothing there for you, buddy. He's just hiding behind the monitor now. Don't knock it over. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Ah, you good? You must be feeling good if you're hopping around now like this. Bagel? Oh. You okay? Oh, you're scratching your post. You're fine. He's just really upset. He really hates it. He wants to go out. all his various toys I have down here for him. He just went for his sombrero, now he's going for his weed bag. He's just being a butt. Weed bag? Catnip, guys, catnip. He's biting his bag of catnip. Can I have a weed bag? I, I, I can have Reese mail you some catnip if that's what you want, but that's about the best you're gonna get.
<laughs> right, catnip. Don't worry, we understand, Wink. Uh, it's legal up here anyways. Like, it fucking matters. I just love how many people are like, wait, what? Catweed? You've been giving your son the marijuanas? Good afternoon, my name is Shannon. I'm traveling through uh, Keltland. You must be the spirit monk from Mill Road. Seems that a person named Lavar has been conducting experiments here. It appears that he was also involved in what had happened with Solvering. Replica obtained. I think that's to run away from a fight for free. gonna repeat myself apparently never mind all right yeah that's nice I'm going to bed nope apparently I can't go to bed <laughs> but you don't have to take my word for it For the fireball, it seems like it's sort of homing. Oh yeah, it's sort of homing. It only works on farther targets, I guess. I love how the names in this world range from shit like Rembrandt Pinkle Nose the Third to Brad. I mean, we are the hero of Southland, Brian. Oh, we need to, we need break time. Oops. Uh, should we just go to take a break now? Then I guess grab some cocoms. See what everyone is up to. Throw some rocks and miss. This sink is filthy, but just three shots from kitchen gun. <laughs> It sparkles like new. I love you, Gilchin Gun! We had about a half hour on this game, even though we started with Bomberman Quest first. Yeah. Bagel looks content now that he's had some weed, so. Then he's finished this fight and then we'll go to break. Fireballs work by prioritizing the higher enemy, i.e. Fireball 3 will hit the top enemy two times and the bottom once. Uh. We got a silent flute. just a tube of metal. It's just something that doesn't work, yeah. A flute that doesn't work. A silent flute. I had a feeling it muted enemies or something, but it's still funny to see. Alright. Uh, let us drop some eggs. <laughs> it's okay, Bubba. So I have a laugh. So the swap idea came to my mind first, and then Bubba, in after like a stream, I think it was Saturday stream, Bubba, or was it Wednesdays? Was like, you know, if you wanna, you wanna mess with people. I noticed you got Bomberman Quest, and I had already told the mods I was doing Quest RPG. So I was like, I already got the plan. I'm already gonna do the swap. Don't worry, it'll happen. But I found it funny that Bubba came up with the idea independently. All right, Digital Nugget, thank you for the gift sub bomb. Colin, the Game Boy for 33, Straight Out of Winterfell for 60, Arpaga for 50, Hopeful Dawn for Hopeful Dawn 9 for 3, 
Iska Bird for 23, Brief Lee for 22, Omi for 44, Sakura Raystar for 39, Tempest Flo... Oh, it's not Flare. Tempest Flar uh, for 25. Uh, Prism Magus for 6, HP Bowsy 64 for 13, Dante 2056 for 52, Trolling Shuckle for 28. Oh, dude, I'm sorry, Shuckle. Hopefully you're entertained with Brian. Uh, Kurisu Pachi for 87, Nukio for 58, Aaron the Baron for 81, Decimating DJ for 6, Banaktarski for 86, Phantom X1234 for 51, Pure White Latios for 4. Oh god. Been a long time viewer from YouTube since 2008 when I was 7! Glad to see all of this great life continue. Oh my god. Oh my god, that means you're 21. Oh my god. I don't know how to process this. I was talking to my mom the other day about this, and I was like, it's weird thinking that people have grown up watching me. I find that so bizarre. Ethan Nico Margashi for 44, Jimmy Jam Jam for 25, Prime for 14, Crimson 5 Phoenix for 97, Mr. Bubbles and Little Sisters for 55, John, I'm 21 and I grew up watching. God damn it, guys. Why were you watching John when you were seven? I swore less back then. I still swore, but it was much less. If it helps, I haven't grown up at all. There you go. Much more helpful. Uh, pie apple bomb, not pineapple, pie apple bomb for seven. Been watching since the days of ROM hacks. I keep forgetting to renew this Prime sub. When I do, I'll always be your free channel. Aw, thanks. Appreciate it, pie apple. CCDTT for four, Freestar for 79, Kota 22135 for 20, Stringy Man for 36, Shadow Sky 1377 for 40, Genesis Bertrand for 30, Iris Wright 1 for 13, Yikati for 862, Sweet Smo for 71, uh, Kill of the Azure Plains for 39, Daisy Foxtrot for 31. A lot of people are aging themselves here, my god. I was a teen when I saw Bad Place Mario. I'm 64 and I've been watching you since I was 60. Wow. Wow, Camille. Wow. I didn't grow up watching you. That helps. That. Okay, there you go. Much better. <laughs> Clearly. Uh, I also feel good about a lot of people around my age saying that they, they were watching for a while, too. That, that works for me. Uh... Freestar for 79, Kota 22135 for 20, Stringy Man for 36, Shadow Sky 13. I said a bunch of these already, sorry. Iris Wright 1 for 13, Yikity for 62, Sweet Smo for 71. I gotta mark these off better. JC1K for 62, Ragnarok for 39. Uh, oh, Shikaiki Donzai for 37. Anthony 3073 for 21, Pyromuffin 5 for 52, Captain Cowhat for 31, Relic 162 for 54, Fanatic Fan 21 for 13, Dan Metro for 8, Game Prodigy for 37, NJ Chef for 37, and Sight MSG for 42. You play a Welcome to Quest RPG. You play as Hero on a quest in this RPG. Play your role well and you might win game clear, but play poorly and you may fall to villain. My game over. Red Burning Dragon for 45, Mothra Man 54 for 76, Trophy Hunter Varg for 35, and Pikachu 23569 for 38. Alongside. I'm gonna butcher this one, because it says Snoopy Pitu? I think that's how you say that for 34. Feral Bites for 7, Dragonfire 20 for 97, Cosplayer Dork for 16. I've been watching since TRG started, I was like 10 ish, so you're 20 now, gotcha. Ooh, and Adrian Kell for nine. I still remember the Worms, Armageddon, something awful video. It's probably one of the first things I remember watching from you. Good old stupid bird. Thanks for subbing everybody and hanging out as long as you have. Some of you for an absolute fucking decade, which is insane. Your eggs tonight are courtesy of the following people. You got a lot of Zoomers who watch your stuff now, and that seems almost weird in comparison to kids only like two years younger than us. I mean, say what you will about Zoomers, like, if they like something, they'll watch it. They're like everyone else, so. And I, since we cover kind of everything, the whole gamut of, like, games, eras and stuff like that, you know, if you want to just see something random, you just come here, basically. Uh, we got four eggs in the carton, and they're 
all videos, but two are from one, so we'll show that other one next break. Sapphire Becca is kicking us off with, is this meme still a thing? I don't know. I'm scared based on the thumbnail. Didn't realize I had a void here. Okay, let me just turn off the. This is this is kind of unsettling. It's just where are we? There's no music. It's just. Would you yep. look at that? Knew it. Would you look at that? I like how he just he just gets quiet. And he's just like Ugh, in the background to himself. Game fan with I guess he's talking about his wife. What are your rules? What are rules? You started off horse. <laughs> Hi, honey. Uh, and Cool Al with where Goldman really landed. In time. I think a successor this is the one you will put on Twitter come. the other day, wasn't it? Farewell, friends. You know, normal stuff. <sighs> yes, this is a thing that's happened. It happens all the time. Goldman just falls through the floor of our living room into my basement all right we're gonna go to break when we come back i'll grab some co-coms we'll go to art block and we will continue brian's journey see you guys in a bit i'm a zoomer i'm younger than the gamecube born after 9 11 and i'm a second year university student who can vote and drink I always, so I always find this funny because, like, remember, I guess they still kind of do it. Like, all those pieces are like, millennials are ruining the job market. Millennials aren't buying houses. Blah, blah, blah. Like, I'm like, barely, like, when does millen millennial start? Was it like 82? I'm like 85. I'm like the, the top end of millennial. It's just like, fuck off. We've been out of the, we've been in the job market for quite a while at this point. You can fuck right off. What is the cutoff for millennial? 1981 to 80 to 96. Oh wow, okay, so that's generous. So a millennial now is 25 to 40. So definitely the out of college age by far. I find that the cutoff is if you remember a world before 9-11. Touche, that's a good point, touche. Yeah, 81 to 96 for Millennials. Gen Z is 97 to 2012. Wow. So it's 2013 to now called? I guess Zoomers, I guess, but like that's not what it says here. It doesn't even say anything. No, Zoomers, anyone born after 96? Oh, is this just Gen Z? That's just Gen Z is Zoomer, okay. But they don't say what uh, after 2012 is. Generation Alpha? Yeah, Generation Alpha is anyone born after 2012. So looking on Wiki and a couple other sites, I, I've got Lost Generation, which is 1883 to 1900, Greatest Generation, which is 1901 to 27, The Silent Generation, which is uh, 28 to 45, Baby Boomers, which are 46 to 64, Gen X, which is 65 to 80, Millennials, which is 81 to 96, Gen Z or Zoomers, which is 97 to 2012, and Generation Alpha, 2010s to mid 2020s, so current gen. Anyone born now? Remember, generations are just a horseshit system created to make dem uh, demographics easier. Wasn't I thought a generation was supposed to be like every 30 years? Like when you're talking about generations of family, it's usually in multiples of 30.
I'm gonna go quickly fill up my water glass, and I'll be right back. I recall if John really explained the theme. Oh yeah, so this one was a little confusing. This one was more from my notes. So this group's theme was side questing, which are all hidden uh, goals that I had written down in the spreadsheet for game clearing. So um, the game I picked, which was Kimono Heroes, was uh, done because I had wanted to beat two games this year on max difficulty. That was the second one. The sub choice was DuckTales Remastered because we did a poll because I'd want to do five polls total this year and we had been at four otherwise. And the current choice, which is the mod choice, is an RPG because I'd wanted to do two RPGs this year and that, this will put us at two. So that is that. Hello? Hello. 
How's it going? Good, how are you? Doing well? Full, Sound a little tired. <laughs> full energy, you can tell. Just brimming with it. Hello, chat. I am upset this game exists and I'm just finding out now. Did you know there's a third quest game as well? I'm trying to remember what the full name of it is. Uh, well, it's like a puzzle game. Is it just called the Holy Magic Century? No, Holy Magic Century is a Quest 64 oh, for Europe. Quest Fantasy Challenge. That's the one I'm looking for. Yeah. Dragonfire's tapping I... out. I can fix that. Weird. Usually it's the opposite issue. Normally I have to struggle to get everyone else's volume up, but okay. How's my audio chat? I didn't turn you down that much, Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah. Right. I have not been in this game, but I've gone to the point uh, where you can actually use the gemstones. Yeah, so this is the third game here. Let me quickly jump over. Or not. Let's press the wrong button, apparently. No, but I do know two Bryans. So, Holy Magic Century is the European name for it. But this is... was it, What did I say earlier? Quest Fantasy Journey or something like that? Fantasy Adventure? Fantasy Challenge. It's basically like Mr. Do or Digger if you grew up playing that game on like old computers. So it's like Pseudo Dig Dug. Interesting. It's, uh, yeah, it's not what you'd expect. I don't know why they thought this RPG series really needed a Mr. Do clone, but there you go. You do what you do. Just keeps going like that. Yeah, all right. Let me quickly clean this up. And let me get Art Block queued up because I didn't, I don't think I had it. Oh, I did. Okay, perfect. Boyfecto. Uh, Chatchpon says cow. Dragon Lord says moo. But er e ink leeton says that feeling when you've only been doing big chunky drawings instead of normal ones and your university wants to see your portfolio. Panic. <laughs> oh god, buttery. <laughs> Just do a bunch of normal ones quickly. <laughs> Sorry, buttery. Makes you laugh a little bit though. You gotta have some balance for it there, don't worry. GS Soren says, I like this new outfit for Bomberman. <laughs> it's very lovely. I did actually change the stream title of the quest, right? Yeah, I did. Okay, good. Um, Bleach Bummer says, So since you're doing an RPG, had a legit question. Are you okay with chat warning if you're going towards a tough optional boss or super boss? Wait, does this game have super bosses? Not that I'm aware of. I was going to say, I, I don't think it does. Or would you rather go in without knowing and then chat confirms after you die horribly unless you win by some crazy luck? I don't, I don't think this game has that. Just a hunch. But if it does, I would want to know. I would, I'm sorry, I would not want to know. I want to go in and get my ass handed to me. Yeah, I'd probably point you in the direction. 
Uh, Rio9 says, So I've realized, I give you a donation, you read what I have written down out loud, then the stream gets saved to YouTube, reading included. It's like I'm paying you to broadcast my thoughts and save them for posterity, as random as inane and inane as they are. I mean, like, if anyone donates shit I don't want to read out, I'm not going to read it out, because I'm not going to read any, like, like, hate donations or anything like that, but otherwise, yeah, if it's not harmful, I don't mind reading it out. I figured that was just a standard expected thing, honestly. Hello. Case in point, Oogie says, hi, YouTube. Like I said, it seemed pretty straightforward to me. It's your funeral in that case, then? Well, I mean, I'm, like I said, I'm not going to read anything bad. And it's not like people haven't figured this out yet. We've been doing streaming for, was it officially next year marks 10 years of streaming on Twitch? I believe. So, or was it 10 years of being a partner? I forget which it is. I think it was 10 years of streaming on Twitch. Oh yeah, and people can also request to not have their donation read out. That's why I don't have text-to-speech on in case anyone wants to just send a private message. <laughs> You're old. Yeah, we established that earlier when we were talking about millennials and Zoomers. Yeah, well, if you're old, that makes me old, too. Only, I'm, only, well, I'm only about a year younger than you, but I think that still qualifies. You're a very expensive diary. That's pretty good. Shadowfan says, look, Ma, I made it to the internet. Am I famous yet? I don't know if that's how that works, Shadowfan. Sorry. All right, let's go to our block. Our block starts with the picture that we had at the end of the last stream, but didn't have a message in time. Cow. <laughs> Catch him, kid says, look, my, I'm on TV and I have a cow. TV's just handing out cows like crazy. All right, Silverblaze says, all right, we finally got this uploaded to the Buru for the Monday crowd to see. Hey, everyone, Silver here, and it's been a while since we last saw this character, haven't we? Admittedly, she had quite the glow up from the singular time I drew her, but that's besides the point. So yeah, introduce, sorry. Introduce it, energy! Introducing the true final boss for the Battle of the Buru, Dark Rosa John. A little over a year ago, I introduced oh, her man. in my little five-part tiefling you know intro comic. Doing? And had foreshadowed she was doing something sinister. And now the time has I come don't. for her to enact her master plan on the Johnniverse. Will our heroes be able to stop them? We shall see. Anyways, I really gotta what? give a huge thanks out, uh, thank you to Icy for drawing this picture. I initially wanted to draw it myself, but a combination of being wiped from Thanksgiving weekend work and wanting to up the scale from this led to Icy Tot taking the reins. Honestly, it couldn't have asked for a better team with him and Roto. And special thanks to Amarnith. Everyone's just counting to get their messages in, huh? Special thanks to Amarnith for doing the voice for Dark Rosa. She was the perfect fit for giving the sinister voice to the evil alt and is just an amazing BA in general. Highest praise to her on such an amazing job. And Icy wants to throw in at the bottom here as well. That egg ended up being rather last minute, but thanks to Udiptez for spreading the word. We were able to get it done for Saturday and actually stay on schedule. So thanks a bunch, Yudi. I also want to thank everyone who came into contact about doing voice work for Dark Rosa. Marnith impressed us all, but there was also Tiger Tiger, Fury, Skylar, Azra, and even Red. Thank you to all as well. So here is here's Dark Rosa with her nice, nice glow up. And since it's tagged, we can show off the original appearance as well. The original appearance was uh was much not even a full screen picture. Just a nice zoomed close up. And there you go. See more of her in the story that the BVA is currently putting together for the art blocks, or for the art block, the egg packs to your anniversary. <laughs> I'm reading some of the messages here. God damn it. Uh, from Flower Dingus, a commission I got from a personal friend of John Julius. Again, uh by Fawn on Twitter. Calm them, they do a good job. Very nice. Thanks, Flowery. Flowery also says, hi, John. Thank you. <laughs> Jesus. That's intermission gift. From Dr. Zock. Uh, today, November 28th, when I'm posting this, is Metarot Day, the anniversary of the release of the first game in the Metarot series, which we in the West know as Metabots. And I decided it was high time to get off my butt and finally draw my first foray into the Johniverse in honor of the occasion. This is Meta Rotter John, which is what I uh, what they call people who use Meta Rots to row battle. I like Meta Bot sounds so much better because Meta Rot sounds a bit nasty, I guess. 
uh, and his partner, Unknown Egg. Part of why I want to make this alt John is, rather than making up new new metabots, I want to find the perfect match for all the various TRG crew among existing metabots. And Unknown Egg is perfect for John, not just because it's an egg, but because it also has chaos, or because it also is chaos incarnate. All of its parts will transform into another part at random when used. It's like having a Pokemon that just knows Metronome four times. <laughs> Like I said, a perfect fit. I wonder where he got those sunglasses, though. Oh my god, that sounds dangerous as fuck. Let's see, egg O, unknown egg, head, omelet, change, right arm, hamlet, change, left arm, ham, egg, change, leg, half, egg, tank type. Unknown eggs, head and arm parts have the change action, transforming into a random part of the corresponding type. Head, right arm, left arm, when used. Its leg parts are tank type, giving it appearance, giving it average performance on all terrain types. Jesus. God, I need to play a proper Metabots game. There's been like, I've played none of them. I've heard some that were excellent. Sorry, guys, getting stuffed up. I think it's the pressure drop. Thank you, Zaka. So you got two more here as well. One for Reese. Next up, we have Metarata Reese with her partner, the horse-type Metabot, Basha Mamba. These are, there are a few horse Metabots, but I had to pick this one because it's the most horse of them all. Only the horsiest of horses for our horse mom. I base Metarata John's pose off of official art of the protagonist of Metarata 2 to 4, uh, or is this 2 4, and the anime Iki Tenryo. Uh, and base Lucas pose off of art for uh, Arika Amazake. Iki's best friend. For the record, I imagine she's wearing a horse ear headband. If she wants them to be real ears, that's fine too. Bashamamba, Umazura, attack, clear trap, right arm, uh, Hizume, left arm, Umakura, and leg, Bansha tank type. Bashamamba's head and arms set a attack, clear traps. A type of trap that will cancel out the next act attack action used by an enemy. Its legs are tank type, giving it average performance on all terrain types. Cow? So many cows. Next up from Dr. Zock as well. So I did say I wasn't going to make any brand new Metabot designs for this project, but I had to come up with something special for our favorite little Merpster. Say hello to Cable Cat, an original cat type Metarot designed by me based heavily off of the first two cat Metarots, Magenta Cat and Pepper Cat. I'm sure you've noticed the abundance of electrical plugs on him. That's actually a part of the design of many cat metarots, which traditionally use electrical attacks and have a plug and cable motif. So it's perfect for Bagel. It's like they knew. Rather than having an owner, I imagine this version of Bagel just lurks around John and Reese and joins in role battles when they need uh, when they need him. And when he's not sleeping. So, Roku show basically. Nice. As for doing more TRG folks as metarotters, I'd like to do more, but I'm running a bit low on ideas. I only have a solid idea of what to give Tim and maybe Massey as partners. I'm open to suggestions. What do folks think might be a good match for Emil or other TRG members? Again, I'm a bit rusty on Metabots, so I might not be the best suggestion for that. Uh, Cable Cat. Head, Code Orange, Thunder, Right Arm, Cord Jab, Thunder, Left Arm, Cord Blow, Thunder, and Leg, Troublemaker, Bipedal. Cable Cat's head and arms are melee thunder attacks which temporarily halt opponents in their tracks. Its legs are bipedal type, giving it an advantage in forest and jungle environments. Cool. It's me, Mr. Referee. Loved him, he was my favorite character in that show. From Nerd, look, it's Chrissy. Did you really expect anyone else to wear the Booba RT shirt? Ah, the Booba RT shirt returns. Mel must be pleased. Thank you, Nerd. Speaking of, I'm gonna jump up here for a second because it's another Booba RT shirt for a corporeal form, so it doesn't quite work. From J2, hard to wear anything being an incorporeal mass of energy. Time for Robo Booby Body then. Well, there you go. It worked for winter. For ghost winter. Thanks, J2. Jumping back here. Oh, there was a third one, actually. Sorry. Leaping around. I come back to this? From Noir. I come back for the Booba art shirt. Thanks. I mean, you didn't have to draw yourself wearing it. You didn't have to. It wasn't even my meme. It was Mel's. <laughs> From Raptoid. Our final quarterfinals match has Flipperoo take on Jonte. Jonte would do well out of the gate by uh, getting spinning and hitting a few shots. However, Flipperoo would stop him and proceed to send him 16 feet in the air. Jonte would then spend most of the next two minutes in the air. With Flipperoo not allowing him to get any momentum going, he would be uh, he would be able to gain some distance and spin up again, delivering some massive shots in the next 30 seconds, however. Finally, in the closing seconds, Flipperoo would get one more flip in and Jonte would land on his sword. Spinning, snapping it in two after the tremendous amounts of punishment it's taken this tournament. 
Jaunting would make it to the closest closing bell, however. The judges would come back with a unanimous decision for your winner, Flipperoo. We now have our final four. A primed Rosa John will take out uh, take on a dominant Flipperoo, while a battle worn Hydra John will take on a focused Bagel. The finals and the winner of the glitched the gilded glitch are fast approaching. Let's see who can outlast the rest. Neat. Poor Jaunting's sword though. Thank you, Raptoid, for the update on the John the John Bot Havoc League. Is that the official title we're going for now? For the battle bots. Johniverse battle bots. Next up, bread. So, bread. 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 Thanks, drops. For the Brian art. Is this binary art? I think I think it's binary Brian art. Bread. Next up. It's a spreadsheet from Da Policia. It's the final game! Makes it kind of sense, not really. I should note that to make things slightly easier for myself, if and when we do get to the lightning round, all the games played for that will essentially be tracked as one long, unthemed rotation and not as bonus games. Speaking of, I should note that after a retally of what we played, I'm missing two bonus games. Last I remember, you said we made it to 50 total games, and I'm at 48. Beneath the list of rotation games, I've listed the last roughly 10 bonus games so I can get an idea of what I might have missed and when. On our really note, everyone plays Psychonauts 2. <laughs> okay, fair enough. It's on sale. Oh, fuck, right, I forgot. It's on sale. I should have picked it up. Before anyone asks, no, it's not going to be my sub suggestion for next year. It's not. Uh, yeah, I haven't bought it yet, so. But it is a good game, from what I've been hearing. I almost forgot, since this was the mod slot and I was at work on the way back from work when it was started, which mod picked Bomberman and Brian's Journey? I'm tracking for that. No, I picked, I picked Bomberman, because I'm going to put it in my slot after. Uh, but the actual choice was Dragonfire. Yeah, I dragged you guys into this mess again. Twice in a row. It's a good series. I wish there were more games in it. To be fair, A, there's more games in this series than I thought, and B, this version's actually not that bad. It's actually pretty fast. By comparison. Yes. I am actually surprised you grind as much as you did. I I did that because now we don't have to. We literally don't have to anymore. Uh, I really didn't grind much or anywhere near the amount I had to for um, Quest 64. Felicia, I'll look up what ones you're missing here in a bit. Last one here from Drops. I don't remember anything I drew for Quest 64 back in 2018, the fuckity fucking fuck is time, but I do remember I drew Solvering and that would, that it was stupid hard to get good references of him. Yeah, it's still hard to get references of him. I mean, it's more of a He-Man look, I feel, with pants. So, kinda works. Thanks, Drops. All right, that's it for Art Block. Let's get back to the game. Uh, Actually, quickly before, let me see what you're missing. Betrayal, who wants to be a millionaire? You're missing uh, Walt Disney World Quest Magical Racing Tour for the Game Boy Color. Crystal, Dark Soccer, Turn Up Boy. Henry Stickman, Vanguard. Sonic R. Dora, Air Hockey, Pedal Crash. Uh, anything you have is not listed on like I can't see whatever's in your nine to one slot there. But those that's it must be you up there you're missing. So the only one I know for sure you didn't have was the magical racing tour for Game Boy Color. That's to Da Policia. Alright, let's get back to the quest. We got a lot of items. Oh man, our inventory is actually almost full. We've got two wings, four spirit gemstones, and 83 max hit points, 22 magic M uh, max MP, 38 agility, and 23 defense. You might want to start focusing on magical attacks. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. I feel like this is the exact same issue we had when we played the N64 one, was I was just getting my health and agility up, and I went into, like, I think specifically this boss fight having no MP. That sounds right in my head. Yeah, you probably had right around 1920 when you 
to the first boss. Yeah, sounds right. Alright, so there's a cave up there, which I assume is where we need to go. If memory serves me correct, the third tier of magic is uh, 15 for I had each. someone in chat earlier said 14, so I'm going to assume it's somewhere around that range, yeah. Let me look it up. Well, uh, it looks like it varies a bit. Depends on the spell, basically. I mean, that's kind of how it worked for 64, so it makes sense. Yeah. Uh, next healing, um, you'd want, it looks like you need to prioritize Earth, if, I, if I'm reading this right. Uh, yeah, I think it's like... Water, Earth, Earth is what someone said for healing level 2. Yeah. Uh, 13 pips in the Earth. God, I feel like I have so much more movement than I did in the actual, like, 3D one. Yeah, it definitely uh, expands your range much quicker. I mean, like, we've also been leveling up our magic pretty fast, too. It just feels like everything in this game is generally faster. Oh, yeah, yeah, the, the yeah. whole stat scaling is completely redone. And honestly, they did a way better job. I'm actually more surprised the, the combat system works as good as it does in 2D. Yeah, basically all your favorite spells from the main game are in this one, too, so you, you will get Avalanche at some point. Excellent. And Magic Armor, and I think there's also a Mute Spell. <laughs> that Z-axis was slowing us down. I mean, like, the movement even feels a lot faster, too, in general, because it's just 2D versus the 3D wandering and having to render everything out. This version doesn't have enough pan flute. Yep. I forgot, what did pan flute do again? It's an instrument. It was just in the songs. Yeah. Oh. The the overworld music that just loops on repeat forever. I don't miss it. Fuck. Let's just start killing these things fast. Yeah, you are well set for the rest of this area. Yeah, I, f I figured as much. I would say probably a good half of the game, at least. Nah, not not that much yet. He is well, getting there. So how far, like, how that file I loaded up earlier, that was like, it had 40 and everything for magic. How far was that one in the game? Maybe half. Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, you, you get spears like crazy. So yeah, you'll get halfway through the game and you should have everything maxed out by then. Is this just another way to get to where I was? Oh, fuck you. As compared to the... The almost day long speed run for 64. No cheating, no glitches, of course, but. Yeah. Yep, that's all it was, was just a loop around. Fuck. Well, now you know. Yeah, and now I can actually start working on my MP because I'm actually physically fighting things. Yeah, glitchless speedrun for 200 spirits is 29 and a half hours. Yeah. Yeah.
I don't normally speed run. And someone said all spirits for this was like an hour and a half or something like that. Yeah, seems about right. Okay, let's go deal with that thief. Presumably, anyways. More bread. Dad, uh, Adam, I don't even think 29 hours is the, the longest spear run out there. What's that one PS? Was it a PS1 game that has to have something happen in real time? Bait and Kai Toast. It's a GameCube game. Yeah, yeah. It takes GameCube, a, it takes yeah. a literal week in real time. And that game is good, but it's not that long. It's a it's a uh, monolith soft game. Oh, two weeks. Oh, it's two weeks. Oh God. Yeah, so if, that's if you're doing, like, 100% item collection, because the item cards are based on, like, if you get, like, a food card, it can eventually rot after a couple hours, so you have to replace it with a new food card. Um, so it's it's the equivalent of that. Like, it's something, like, you need to let a seed grow, or is it, like, let a food rot? I forget which it is, but it takes, I guess, two weeks of real time to happen. Is it, is it Monolith Soft I'm going to get confused with? Like the guys who did Xenoblade, Xenosaga? Yeah, that's them, Monolith Soft. Yeah, that is Baden Kaito's Eternal Wings in the Lost Ocean. That's their second game as lead developer, their first one being Xenosaga, Episode 1. Huh. Yeah, what's the one I keep getting them confused with? They did the Fear Games, Monolith Productions, that's what it is. It's just the second word that's different. That's it. I was also once a spirit tamer. I was exiled when my plan to create a massive army of warriors with the dead was exposed. But I got the Earth Orb and became the King of Beasts. Now I'll show you my power. Will this reach? Yep, nine damage because he is Earth type. Fifty two damage. Forty nine damage. Three attacks. Four technically, but yeah. Yep. That went a lot better than it did in the N sixty four version. Yeah, I didn't have to cheese this fight. Yeah. Thank you. So you are Brian, whom Bart has mentioned. You know my father? Oh, act oh, Brian actually talks in this one. Oh. Yes. Yeah, he's been talking. I have spaced out on that completely. Well, Bart told me to give you this Earth Orb. It is yours. Okay, let's leave. Oh, we didn't talk? Okay. You have defeated Silver Ring. I will entrust the Earth Orb to your hands. It'll help you find the Elotale Book. I've opened the hidden door in the back of the Imperial Throne. There's a treasure vault beyond that. You may take anything you want. It's all bread. Bravo, you spirit tamer. Your magical powers are astounding. Great. Is this a retelling of the N64 game? Yeah, it's actually like a fleshed out N64 game, uh, storyline wise. Well, here's a question. Was there anything I was supposed to find in that area back there? Like, it looked like there was uh, a bunch of bridges to walk around in the boss room. Yeah, I believe there's some stuff stashed in there. But you'll be going back to the forest anyway, because that's your path to the next area. Healing potion, replica, and hero's drink. I have too many things to carry. I will return the treasures to the chest. 
Well, let's eat some bread. Uh, I would have done a dew drop. I can do both. Here we go. Alright, I assume there's nothing else to do in the castle, so we can just kind of head right there. Yeah, it should be good. Yeah. Well, let's go, let's go say... Hi, was it Sophia? I already forgot her name. Flora. 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 Okay, I don't know where I got Sophia from, then. Hey, I stole all your bread. I hope you don't mind. Oh, you're not even here. Oh, these are Princess Flora's chambers. You cannot enter without permission. Well, where is she? That's a good question. Is she in the book room reading the books? No. Maybe she's waiting at the exit. It doesn't seem to be anywhere else. Not even here. All right, well, bye. Yeah, it was at this point I was disappointed because I thought, oh, we're going to somehow get a party member. No. Nope. No. Nope. This is a solitary quest. Powerful. Nice. Oh, that raw Brian power. <laughs> this is Brian's journey, not Brian and Flora's journey. They've got a good point. It could be, you just have to give Flores a chance. After another streamer I follow played through the 64 game and hated it, I looked up this game on YouTube and found a multi-part series defending the story to the game that had a Martin Luther King Jr. quote in the first 10 minutes. Uh... Okay. Oops. Interesting. Interesting choice made there, yeah. Like, Quest 64 was better than I expected it to be when I played through it, but I also not gonna write it off as poet, and I gotta say, like, it's the best game out there or anything like that. But I also don't know how you'd really tie it into MLK Jr., but clearly I was not the person who did the multi part series on YouTube on it. I'm kind of curious what your max health is going to be by the end of it. No idea, because I am I am doing a lot of physical attacks, so I'm going to be leveling up pretty fast in that aspect. It'd be really funny if my health and my stats were like the actual opposite of that other file. Where that one's like no extra M HP but a shit ton of MP. And we currently have the opposite issue right now. So if I remember the speedrun for this game, they actually prioritize uh, Wind Cutter. Oh, well, I mean, like, Wind Cutter, I think, hits a bunch of targets, right? Yeah. Here, cause, like, here that... let's, let's do Wind Cutter level 2. This should hit both. Yeah. Yeah, and it's kind of auto-homing there, so... It seems like most moves are auto-homing, though, except for Rock and Water. Those are just... They attack the same place every time. Alright, what do we 
got around here. Figured it'd be one of these at least. We got a treasure chest, but I think our inventory's full because we got a bunch of items. Honey bread! Another replica. I'm good for that. I'm assuming replica is just leave a fight. Yeah, it's a free yeah. escape. And I ain't about that life. Don't you level up your defense by letting enemies hurt you? That is correct. By fi like hitting them with the stick, I level up my HP. If they hit me physically, they level up my HP, and every hit I take levels up my defense. But also, I don't want to just keep spending all my time just doing the same few fights, because the, the encounter rate is, I wouldn't say high, but... It's not as high as Quest 64, in my opinion. No. No, that was a bit extreme. You can go more than one step before your next encounter, so definitely not as bad. Yeah, and while I won't spoil how, there are ways to actually adjust that later in the game. To adjust what? The encounter rate or your movement speed? Or en en encounter rate. Oh, wow, okay. Jesus, John, this game is ten and a half hours long? Yeah, it's an RPG! <laughs> I'm not sure what yeah, you that, expect. That's a short RPG. It is really yeah. short for an RPG, yeah. I think that's shorter yeah. than the actual Quest 64. <laughs> Yeah, I think it took you like 15-ish hours. Sounds right. Depends on how fast we move, we might get to where the other save file is. Oh wow, really? We might, depending on how fast we can move. Yeah, with breaks, it might be a stretch. Yeah. I mean, that's kind of why I focus on agility, so the fights will go pretty fast. Which seems to be a good idea, since the fights seem to be pretty frequent, too. Uh, Tempto, Tempto, uh, I personally think it. this is a much better version of Quest 64. Easily. We would have had a good console version if they hadn't canceled the sequel. <laughs> is Imagineer even around anymore? What have we even done other than the Quest games? I, I think the company itself exists in a different form. Uh... Oh yeah, no, they've got some games labeled 2017. Yeah, they're not mentioned past tense, I guess they're still around. Most recent game they did. Let's play curling on the Switch! February. Oh, that's coming out next year, February 10th, 2022. Perfect game for you. There you go. Perfect. Flawless. Yeah. It's one you would you don't need to be backseated at all for because it's a I think it's when you more popular sports in Canada. Oh yeah. Curling's pretty popular up here. Uh, their most recent game that came out was Fitness Boxing 2 Rhythm and Exercise for the Switch, and uh, that was December 3rd, 2020, and Metarot Classics Plus 
for the Switch November 12th, 2020. Did a lot of iOS and Android. Seems like they're primarily mobile. Af yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, like handheld, like mobile and Boy. Nintendo seems to be the, the platforms they aim for. Because I see a lot of Metarot games on 3DS <laughs> and Switch. They did a couple of Dreamcasts and Playstations. A, a PC game. Did you know that Rhythm Boxing has or is getting an anime? If figure skating got an anime, Rhythm Boxing was going to get one. That's not surprising. Ooh. Uh, quarantine on the 3DO. Oh, well God. It was them? Yeah. Weird. Well, I figured out how we got the quest... Uh, Mr. Duke phone. Apparently, they ported it to the Super Famicom. Oh. Wait. So they already had the assets, and they rebranded it. Wait. This... Oh, they they ported Mr. Do to the Famicom. I'm like, wait a minute. Yes. I'm like, yes. They ported Mr. Do to the Famicom, and so then they just rebranded it on the Game Boy. I thought for a second you said they ported the Quest game to Game to. No, Super no. Time. I'm like, wait a minute. So yeah, that's how that came to be. Apparently, they're the ones who ported Doom to S Super Famicom. Wow. Of course, Death this is Parker. Wikipedia, so... We, we hope someone hasn't misled us. Sport anime about boob and butt bumping. Oh yeah, that's I forget what it's called, but we've talked about it before here. We have it. We had a gift for it. But yeah, there's there's basically an anime for everything at this point. People are saying piano playing has its own anime. Is there a, a sport anime about bartending? I think there's a bartending anime. If there's a bread baking anime, I feel like there's probably a bartending one. There's one for everything. Pretty much. Yes. So is there like an internet rule that if it exists, is an anime of it? Kinda. It's called Food Wars. Is that is that the the uh, the bartending one? Because the Yakitate Japan was the bread one I was thinking of. Ooh, that actually did some damage. Hot lips. Hot lips actually doing some damage. Good old fire pillar. Fire, no big deal. Spirit gem. Oh. Not what I would have expected to have gotten. Is that what you were teasing that we could eventually do with the spirit gemstones? Let us do that? You, you can use. Those gemstones are basically a currency for later in the game. Yes. So there's a, a whole assortment of things you can get with them.
Technically, there's a bartending anime. It's called Valhalla. I mean, no, I don't... I, I know that's a game. I know Valhalla Reese did that for an LP at one point. I'm gonna have so much health at this rate. <laughs> uh, I don't think magic attacks increase health. No, I mean the fact that I'm walking up and just hitting everyone with a stick. Ah. Yeah, we're at 99 max health already. What's our MP at though? Our MP's only at 27. Rolling Rock! Guess I should actually try out my other spells at some point. Yeah, basically, eventually everything just turns into a screen nuke. Yeah. Does not even remotely surprise me. Our agility must have leveled up, because that box is a lot bigger now. I can literally, I can almost walk around enemies completely to hit them. Oh my god, this encounter rate. I just want to find hidden shit. Downside is this is a like a top-down maze, so it's like, well, what things could I be missing here? It looks like I can miss a fair amount. So, uh, I don't think you talked about how defense is raised. Uh, in Quest 64, it's based on the number of hits you take. Uh, total damage being irrelevant. In this game. It's based on the amount of damage you take. Yeah, it's like every four points of damage is like 5%, I think it said, something like that? Yeah. Staff. Hot steam! Homing arrow. Oh, that was hot steam earlier. Okay. What's power staff do? Attack up! Yeah. Mix up which plant does which fire attack. Not, not that many pixels there. <laughs> I definitely feel like I missed something already. Soul Searcher. Oh, that went away really fast. I didn't even get to read that. Our agility's at 50. What was that other file at? Was it 59? 
I thought it was 66. No, oh, that yeah, maybe it's that. Maybe it was maybe it was the fence that was at that number. Possibly. Someone else says 66. Question, John, I'm deep in the pit of Dawn of Sorrow with soul grinding and weapon building. Where is the door? Oh, you're you're fucked. <laughs> you're straight fucked. Sorry to break it too. If Good you one. want uh avalanche, uh it's earth, earth, fire, you'll need earth and fire at twelve, I believe. We meet again. Beyond this lake is Lara Pool, the city of water. It's just as beautiful as Lim Lime Lim, the castle town of Carmog. Let's take a nap. Is there any point in me going up and seeing uh, if I miss anything in, the, in that maze up there? I feel with the encounter rate might not be the best idea. I can't remember if that side forest is in this game or not. I don't remember. In Quest 64, there's another dungeon off on that side on that path that you just came down. Uh, I knew I knew the maps would exist. Hang on, let me check. Uh, it looks like it's only for the dungeon. Connor Forest. Let's see. Uh, Yeah, I don't think so, because there's nothing on a spirit list for that zone, so it must what, not exist. What's the name of that area we were just in? Do you remember? Or that we're in right now? The the, the forest? We're in Connor I, Forest. I, I found all the maps. Because I figured VG Maps had it. Yeah, I'm just we're... Trying to we remember what the fuck the name of the area we just were in after oh, the Connor forest. The Overworld? Uh, Dondrin Flats. Dondrin Flats. Uh, the forest is physically there, but it's not an area to go into, apparently. Yeah, because I don't see it on a spirit list, so... Don't have to worry about that place. Sick. Oh, shit, this map actually has all the spirit locations on it, too. Sick. So we did miss a spirit up there. I'm gonna go back and get that. But otherwise... One, I believe, just north of the inn, yeah, by the lake. The, that's the one. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna drop this to you guys in that case. It's literally it looks like it's a sprite rip of every map in the game. And uh, because it's a sprite rip, it shows the the uh, spirit fountains too. Oh, what the fuck? You're new. Oh, I've definitely fought you before though, at least in the other game. Oh yeah, the, those are fun in the other game. Oh, they're going down pretty fast in this one. Yeah, much more deadly in the other game. Are they the ones that could do rock slide? No, they they use like well, wind cutter level two, and... but they 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 hit it just hit like a truck. That'll work. Yeah, elemental weaknesses are a thing in this game, just like 64. Yeah, yeah it, they're, they're counter spells essentially, but if you're focusing on just using your stick, it doesn't seem like it's as high a priority. Stick is good against everything. Always fear stick. Stick is best. I 
one I missed, it wasn't even that far away. Like, I think I just saw it on camera slightly. Starting at that point in the game where I'm like, eh, just fuck it, just rolling rock. Use the screen clear, speed it up. There we go, there's one I missed. Undertale fans know about the power of stick? Yeah, too sure. Then you can beat Ganon with a fishing rod, so... Slowly getting that MP up. And you're 25% down with spirits. Oh, 40 is the cap? Yeah, 40 is the cap for this one. I, was, I, I felt sure since that file had 40, 40, 40, 40, but never know. Because there's a there's a point where they just stop giving you spells, right? Like, and they're around, that's around like 25 or 30. I think the highest is 20. Let's see, let me get the spell list. I want to say it's 22. Yeah, that's the highest I see. So basically everything on top of that is just a power increase. Jesus, 22 is the cap. Yeah, uh, when I played this, the first thing I did was max out uh, wind. Because wind cutter is... Level 3 is very overpowered. When do I get wind cutter level 3? Uh, I believe that's... Let me double check. Yeah, that seems pretty good, because I'm pretty sure that was actually their strength, was wind just then. Yeah, those are... the frogs are wind mobs. Uh, 12 wind. Gives you level 3. Alright, well I'm almost there then. Oh, hey buddy, you coming up? Or are you gonna sit on my desk again? What are you doing this time? The uh, the guide for the speed run. Your wind cutter level three. Your bread and butter damage dealing spell. You'll be using wind cutter against most bosses in random encounters. They oh, buff yes. the wind cutter three a huge amount and let it hit up to eight divided the various amount of enemies. Colleen, are you also a spirit tamer? My father is one of you. A few days ago, we gave a spirit monk a ride to the Isle of Sky. Oh, our boat's getting a phone call. Is are they calling collect? I am Kiliak, the Prince of Nord. I have come to relieve you of everything of value. I won't tolerate any attempt at resistance. Do you intend to resist? You'd better not. If you insist, there is nothing I can do. Alright, well, let's kick your ass. Ooh, actually hurts! Yeah, characters from the 64 game, but you're meeting them in different scenario. damage now. There's a combination for hot steam. Fireball looks like it works better. You're just a child! You can't beat me! 
So, these are the pirates. Lennon, chase them away. Wah! And now we're Final Fantasy V. <laughs> Alright, everything's fine now. I'm not going to explain that at all. Goodbye! Alright, so when do we see Gilgamesh? in on the TV remote? Okay, sure. Why not at this point? Well, Bagel must be feeling better. Yep. In a while since he's annoyed you this much on stream. Yeah, he he's just annoyed he can't go out. This is his way of protesting. Anybody. Let's get, let's get wind cutter level 3. Let's focus on that, because I can just go get that element boost, and then we should have it. Oh my god, the, the goat's movement range is the entire field! And they use a really slow full screen move. Goat agility, yes. I guess next time I'll do a scan of them and see what their agility's at. A lot. Probably. Oh, no, this one. This character's pretty fast, too. Defense, ooh, defense down. Uh, what was, what was that combo? Agility 9. I guess it's just random. Miss. There we go. Now you should give us wind cutter level 3. Let's see if it's as overpowered as you say it is. scratched him. Yeah, I don't know what you're talking about. Barely did any damage whatsoever. I could not tell what that green enemy was until I saw the name. That sprite looks nothing like the 3D model. Not surprising. Almost like they had less pixels to work with. Uh, everything's looked fairly similar so far. Yeah, but... Heal up a little bit. Lara Pool, Cult Hazard, and Windward Forest. I assume Lara Pool's where we're going next. Yep. yep. Um, when you... There will be a path to the right you can go that doesn't have, like, a walking path. That has a spear. I won't be able to hit me for a bit, I think. 
we help. No, we probably did. Okay, no, we're good, because I can dodge. Every turn I skip gives me back some of my MP. So, might as well just get a little bit of it back. Another perk of getting my agility up. Chan, how's your day going? I just, oh, it's gone. I just run around gone. from this guy. I taste gone good. Ooh. How are you, Dragonfire? How's your day been? Slowly panicking as the week goes on because I am not ready for Friday. What's going on on Friday? Going to the moon. Oh, right. And Walker. Yep. Pretty much everyone uh, in my life disappears at that point. I was like, I didn't know you were an astronaut. Well, I the warrior have... of light's becoming one. Which, as a reminder, chat, after reset tomorrow, you have two days to get your challenge logs ready if you're going to power level Sage or Reaper. Yeah, I have not played uh, Final Fantasy fourteen. Which means go to the Crystal Valley for a mermaid orb. I cannot leave this town because I must protect here. Sure. Thank you, Brian. I didn't say my name, but okay. I'll open the path to the Crystal Valley. The cave is deep and full of monsters, but you'll be okay. There's a person called Epona beyond the cave. Please hurry. It's only for a short while that the water recedes. Wow, they just, they just rushed right into it, huh? Holy shit. I wanted all that stuff! Look at all this stuff they're not letting me grab. <coughs> Fuck you, I'm going back and getting it. I know Reese right now is actually doing raids to prep for Endwalker, so... Or help pe people prep for it, so... Yeah, that's what I've been doing the past month. Uh, you and everyone else I know that's into the game, apparently. Silver amulets. What does that do again? Defense 1.5. Oh, just for a fight? Yeah. Okay, that's not that big a deal. Right, you, you getting comfy there, mister? Jump up there. Why don't you knocking over the pizza cats? You're gonna do it anyways, aren't you? I don't know what you're thinking of that. You're not even supposed to be jumping anyways. Day of grief. Long ago a dispute arose over a book which had enormous powers, and all who lived in the country which won the book perished. Yeah, I'm planning to set an alarm for 4 a.m. Friday, hop in the queue, and then take another nap while I wait for that to process. <laughs> um, another good spell would be 13 wind, 13 water uh, for wind bomb. Well, I should have access to that now. We cannot accept unaccompanied child. Instead, how about some mint leaves? They will clear your head and wake you up. Uh, I believe that's higher tier uh, MP recovery. Okay. There you go. What are you thinking of doing? Evil Stone is working against wind and water. Beyond the south cave is Normoon, the town of winds, and this is Larapool, the city of water. Bagel, I'm pulling you down. You're being yeah, I know. Go complain somewhere. Right now I can't have you jumping around. You're not supposed to be jumping anyways. You're still healing. Oh, 
should probably get the wings before I actually go and do the mermaid path, right? L recommended. Would be a good idea. I'm gonna take my singing lesson. I want to sing at Limeland Castle. Sorry, buddy. You haven't even gotten your medicine in a while. Yet. So I'm just looking for your medicine. Your favorite thing in the whole world, Bagel. There's a cave called Blue Cave somewhere in the town. That cave leads to a beautiful valley. It's said that it, the water of defense ebbs when one is led to the path to Crystal Valley. So, hello, Vincent DC15. Thank you for the raid with a dead keyboard. Impressive how you're typing that with a dead keyboard. Your skills amaze me. It's called have a backup keyboard. I guess, or have a phone. Vincent DC15, thank you for the raid. Hopefully your stream was good. I'm gonna keep an eye on a cat, so if I keep turning my head away, that's why. Sorry about that. We're doing game clearing right now. We're playing through an RPG. Quest 64, to be somewhat specific. And to be more specific, this is Quest RPG Brian's Journey. It's a Game Boy Color port slash updated version of Quest 64 that's a lot more fleshed out and honestly plays better. So there's still a magic well somewhere in the town. Okay, that's just telling me about where I already were. I already was. All right, bye, Rosa. You know what? Well, I didn't know you were in game. Oh, it's just right there, just hanging out in the water town, apparently. You're on the way of a quest. It is dangerous to be traveling. If you stay in town, the monsters will not assault you. There's the wing hut. Hi, young monk, you travel alone. Here, I will give you blue wings. Brian, I really want to thank you. I'm not going to warp you back down there. You got to do that on your own. Like she said, the water will only stay for a short amount of time, and yet it definitely is has not. Well, a short amount, a short amount of time in RPG means until you no longer need to be down here. That's true. I assume you're probably gonna need some fire here soon. No. Nope. Um, what's your uh, Earth? 
your earth uh, spell level. 13. Uh, and you have at least 12 water. Uh, you could do left, F. down, left. Left and or left. Ma or magnet rock. Oh yeah, that's what I just used. Yeah. That's recommended against things that are wind element. Yeah, a lot of items and a lot of spirits. Not a lot surprised. of uh, buy a lot of items. Five. Yeah, I hate this place. Worst, worst dungeon in the main game. This is the super long and winding dungeon that you had to do, right? I think I yeah. Yeah, remember. Yeah, yeah. Th this is the the maze. Th this is the where we went through when it popped up on that cookie segment. Oh. Yeah, that was took us like 45 minutes to get through them. How bad is it in this version of the game? Oh, it's not bad. Yeah. Oh, Man, I mean, it. Shit. Yeah, his battles are so. Majority of the time save is battles are so much quicker in this game, so. Makes sense. And the maps are, are smaller because it's Game Boy, but yeah. Really now. Um. We're at the point where it's just. We have all the ones that the speedrun tends to focus on. So really it's put pips where you want your attack to be stronger. Yeah, you should have uh, spirit level armor too. Yeah, I'm muted currently. Um, I'm just saying that's the last spell they want. That uh. the speedrun wants. You think John finishes it? No, there's no way. There's no way we finish it tonight. Absolutely impossible. We yeah. We'll get about halfway ish. Yeah, if you keep playing this for the rest of the night, you can probably finish this in one more full stream. That was what I was thinking. We could, it would be uh, two streams to two and a half. Yeah, a little longer if you want to do a, a split Bomberman quest stream or some I mean, stuff like that. So Bomberman quest will take a stream by itself. It's about four hours long. So the plan was to do that after uh, quest was done. So. Yeah, you weren't kidding about them just having a ton of spirits. Like we've already put like what five or six points into magic since we got in here yeah oops shit let me do that Yeah, 
You gotta mute your mic. What? Why am I muting my mic? Because you were muted in game, I'm guessing. Oh, d I thought they were like, you. I thought they were saying, like, something's wrong. Like, no, they're telling me I'm muted, muted. That's why. <laughs> they were making a funny. And I took it a little too literally. Womp womp. I was going to make that joke, but I said no. I'm guessing Reese showed up because Bagel disappeared. How much wandering around should I even do in here? Maybe I should just bring up a map to speed this up. It's a maze, so yeah. If you want to get through this soon, bring up a map. I assume it is just called Blue Cave. Yeah, Blue Cave. <laughs> yeah, it's a maze. Yeah. Let's just go ahead and... Exit! Return! What? Oh, that's probably the work back to the town. Exit, it kicks you out of the dungeon. That's what I figured. An escape... Uh, escape leaves... Escape leaves battle. What's exit do? Exit leaves dungeon. Is... What's return to? to? Return back to a town? Yeah, return is town. So don't accidentally use those in the field. You know, now that you said that, that's going to happen. Oh, we have we have drain already. Oh shit. Yeah, yeah, you're you're gonna be getting a lot of stuff in rapid succession. There's avalanche. Avalanche just as random as I remember it being. I think almost every fight we have gotten a new spell. <laughs> or gotten a new element, rather. Yeah, it's almost like they went the other direction as far as scaling goes, where yeah. it, it doesn't scale properly, it scales too quick. If at all. Mosquito in 64. I mean, how else do you want to show off how to drain? So do you, like, eat the mosquito or something? Uh, how does that work? And then you turn the staff into mosquito. That's the less gross option. Alright, what do we got here? Spirit gemstones and healing potion. Too many things. Agility 59, defense 27. Starting to get there. And our HP's at 109. Definitely have plenty of health. Because in the boss fight, you'll. It would be smart to use, like, spirit armor. You should probably have level 2 spirit armor at this point. I do. I already I bumped into it. I was looking for a drain. 
Yeah, Frosty, the only important element is the first element. You can do the second two elements in any order and get the same spell. So, same as 64. It's a remake. Which fact is I'm, the one I'm looking at has all the, the spells in here with both variations having the same spell. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it worked the same way in 64 for the most part. There was some yeah. overlap where like one combina two dot combinations lead to the same spell. Yeah, the the set the spell the elements two and three order doesn't matter as long as you just have the two. Can it truly be classified as a D make if this is the better version? Because I always think of a D make meaning the worse version. D make usually just means it is like down a bit, like like taking a CD game and putting it on the Super Nintendo, something like that. That's the that's the official definition. Romero. Don't worry, uh, chat has proved many a time that it's difficult to read. No, no problem, Zach. There we go, then. At least that got answered and straightened out. Cool, cool. Oh my god, we're gonna be here forever. If you want the uh, triple, the uh, tier 3 win kind of to be more stronger, you put more pips into win. I don't know, I don't know. I'm just. Well, I'm just. Taking, taking uh, a chance to work on all my other stats. I'm just explaining it also to people that may have just joined. No, oh, fair. Sounds like I'm being visited. Hello. Oh, I am there. No sun this time. Uh, 20 minutes. Wow, what's up? Oh, oh, should we do that right now then? I mean, I, if it's only gonna be a minute or two, I can just step away. They're not gonna care. All right, we'll be right back. Bagel medicine time. Be right back. I mean, I'm just gonna leave it on the screen. We're not gonna be gone that long. Hi, right, chat. Any questions? Uh, last time I checked, it's 42. So it could be 69. Uh, the quests were very boring. It's like, find a pair of socks, find, a, find your stick, find breakfast. It was a very boring quest. That's why we've never seen it. I have no idea what the max agility is. Yeah, in uh, 64, it was, I think it was 200 for both agility and defense. Uh, but I'm not sure how that translates into this game. I don't know if it's 255 or, or something like that. Uh, but gradually, while, while Luigi, I have a better question for you. Why not? Uh, which Mario are we referring to, Noir? Are we talking Green Mario, Red Mario, Purple Mario, or Yellow Mario? Uh, Punk 
that's on a uh, a miserable pile of secrets. But enough talk, have at you. Uh, I do not think anyone has referenced me with Forrest Gump before. Uh, currently I am doing the Final Fantasy V November Fiesta, which I just have to kill the final boss. And I've been playing 14 almost daily. <laughs> Both playing. Yeah, uh, I... I don't think there's a blue Mario, nor do I think there's a cyan Mario. What would a white Mario... Would white Mario be a uh, Mario with a fire flower? Yeah, he has a white cap one with that. Well, obviously Mario but fast would be Mario uh, with, like, the bunny hood from Zelda. Yes, I am very excited, friend Walker. Uh, you depends. I do have a plan for uh, my set for the egg pack mod and staff race. It's gonna be stupid, and people are not gonna have brains if their brains will be mushed by the end of it. Uh, so. The, the reason why there's a November Fiesta Light Cecil is because there's the Pixel Remastered version, and I'm doing it on the Pixel Remastered version, which I am sad. I am actually upset on one thing because they didn't include the GBA dungeons. Uh, soda pop. Uh, don't tell anyone, but I took the cookie from the cookie jar. talking to a different Cecil in chat. Uh... Yeah, Shadow King, I want a remake of 64, but with the plot of this game. Like, I want a full 3D I would re like, remake of this. I want a mixture of the two. I would like the scaling to be, like, halfway in between the two and the plot from the first game. If they have, if they allow online, maybe have a party system. No, sometimes the answer is sixty nine, or it's four twenty, or it's three sixty. Uh, there are not enough Cecils here. There can always be more Cecils. We definitely need a bigger amount of Cecils. Yes, Golden Act. It's a perfect number. 420, 69, 360. That may be Dragonfire's IQ. I don't know. Yeah, the catnip that John had has for bagel. That is totally not weed. Which, in Canada, as long as he doesn't come to the U.S., is perfectly legal for him to smoke weed. That's a good question. I 
I know weed can be used for medicinal purposes. That's a good question. <laughs> You're welcome, Jupo. You must admit... You must have missed the part of us talking about John's catnip for bagel. That's definitely not weed. Sorry about that. I thought that was only going to be a minute or two. Uh, I picked up the cat, and then Reese picked up Bagel's medicine, which was in a syringe, and sprayed it all over my face and glasses. It's your medicine now. So I had to wash my glasses, wash my face, and still help Bagel, or help with Bagel's medicine. So, uh, that took a little bit. Sorry about that. I'm, uh, I'm just going to reset the break timer at this point. I think we'll just we'll just push till for another 90 minutes and then I'll be end of stream because that was longer than I intended. That was like nine minutes according to the clock. All right, sounds fair. John's gonna become a cat. I don't think that's how that works. I've seen that episode of SpongeBob. John's gonna turn a cat. That's not how that works, guys. Are we sure about that? Pretty sure. You know what's going to happen now that you've said this? Now that people's brought yeah, it up. See, I can already see some people saying grab pencil. Uh, did that miss or did it actually not drain? Oh, they're only worth one MP each. Okay, that would do it. you can't try. I think your art looks pretty good, Camille. You can definitely try it. I have too many things. I think I'm going through like these dewdrops pretty fast now. I don't have too many left. I probably should stop going to town on those. I think mint leaves are like a higher level. I think it's 100 MP. Yeah, but uh, yeah. I only have 43 max MP right now, so... Yeah, and Hero's Potion is the tier above that. Hey. What do we even have left spell-wise to get? So I'm at 16 all right now. He's got Fireball level 3. I think Camille has turned into a snake. She's hissing at me. Nah, she, she hisses a lot. You'll be fine. Yeah. yeah, a lot of the later spells are just like level 2 versions. I don't think there's too many original ones. Everyone give Camille hugs. What's even the best spell for me to use right now? Avalanche seems to just get directly around me. The the wind cutters seem all right, but uh, if an enemy is strong to it, it doesn't do much. Yeah, you should have fire, wind, wind for homing arrow level two. I do. That does seem pretty good. Yeah, that's probably going to be your best remote fire spell. How does that qualify as wind, uh, fire? Because it's the starting one is fire.
Ooh, yeah, there we go. There's some good damage. Yeah, yeah, but this entire dungeon is all water enemies, so fire is going to be your, your big damage. Put it in a fire. Hot wind is just an air fryer. I hate it. I hate that it's right. No, that's compression. Ow. Yeah, I don't know how that drain magic calculates, because those enemies definitely have MP. I feel like I got a bunch off of them before. Maybe it's just doing it low because I had them almost dead. It might be based on how much health they have left. That's a good question. Okay, let's try again. Yeah, I got 14 off of them that time. Yeah, every fight is giving me an, an element up right now. Yeah, we, we got a level up, and it's already at 73% for the yeah. next level up. Jesus, this is just handing them out like candy now. Yeah, that's why that file already was maxed out so early in the game. Nah, it makes a lot more sense now. I'm pretty sure that was only halfway in the game. Yeah, that file was about halfway. Yeah, we're getting, wow, we're getting basically 90% off of these fights. Yeah, because the, the quicker you kill them, the more XP you get, too, so. It's a dead end. What shall I do? Oh. Wow! Apparently I'll die. Chappie says, you should not be sleeping here. You are in the way. Thanks, Chabby. Where am I? This is your destination, Crystal Valley. Come with me. You wish to see Epona, right? Okay. Epona, this is Brian. You must be Brian, the son of Bart. You have come for the mermaid orb that Layla asked for, right? How do you know? Epona knows everything. Seems one of your older apprentices took out the Elltale book. That should be very dangerous. You mean the Elltale book? That book which surpasses the power of the spirits? You'll probably be fighting against that power, but you need to be very careful, okay? You must hurry up. I will send you back to Lara Pool. Are you ready? Sure. I probably said no, because I think there's something in the back room. Oops. Oh, you have brought me the mermaid orb. I am truly grateful. Uh, will this do? I will finally be able to perform my duties. Please come to the fountain. I speed! Everything's fine now. <laughs> I'm in your debt. Cool. Brian, I really want to thank you. What did I miss behind there, if anything? I'm assuming I just missed, like, one upgrade. Yeah, uh, I'm not sure if anything's in that back room or not. A warp to the this, Isle this of game. Sky. Which isn't that, like, late? Yeah, Isle of Sky is is later. So I guess I come back there. All right, let's stay the night. No, not the Isle of Ska, Sadly, I would head there immediately if that was the case. All right, so our stats now are 110 max HP, 46 max MP, 62 agility, 28 defense. Twenty-one fire, seventeen wind, sixteen water, and sixteen earth. Now 
I guess we're done here. All right, bye. Ah, oh, fuck, I did it again. I keep hitting the attack button instead of the magic button. So now, what are our options? Cull Hazard and Windward Forest. You'll want Cull Hazard. Oh, okay. Yes. Percentages are percent to the next level. Yeah, so that's the experience bar, essentially. Still smudge, damn it. Yep. I know that I know that feeling. I mean to be fair, I need a new pair. I've had this this pair for over a decade now. Shit. I just I just replaced my eleven year old glasses last month. Yeah, I went to a uh, I needed to get the one of the nose pieces replaced on this thing a while back. So I went to a an optometrist and they're like Looking at my glasses, like, yeah, I, these look like they are 11 years old. Yeah, pretty accurate. Yeah, I almost wore the bridge completely through. Uh, the sides of mine have rusted off. Apparently, I have a metal allergy, which I was not aware of when I got these. So they're like, yeah, we're going to get you plastic frames when you get replacement ones. You go past Cull Hazard, there is a town called Normoon, but you can stay here. Oh, thank you. Yes, you are looking good. Well then, have a nice trip. Alright, bye! More mazes! Oh, there's a cave. Close enough. No, oh, no, let's get that. I would say Earth would be element you'd want to be focusing on. Since I think the next boss is Wind Base. Putting points in a win because of Cutter, but also, yeah. This is Brian's signature move the run around the enemy and beat him with a stick. I mean, it's working. Can't really yeah. complain with the results. Don't knock it till you try it. Oh, I think I vaguely remember this cave from the 3D one. Uh, going to the right, and when you get to another fork up, is roughly around where there's a spear. Uh, okay, I see what you mean. Yeah, there's a fun enemy here you'll find. Hooray! I'm excited. Yes, it's a lot of fun. Birds! Scarecrow! Hmm? Oh, there we go.
I'm sorry I don't have the bird up sound effect. Oops, I did not use the spell I thought I was using. That's the one you were talking about. Uh, look at the map. There's a bunch of treasure chests we can get. Spirit gemstones. Oh, where? Back over there. Silent flute, honey bread, heroes drink, and healing potion. I feel like I don't even bother with any of those. I think I'm just gonna skip them all. Did I get into a counter by just standing still? Maybe. Yeah, I'd probably go for the Heroes Drink and Healing Potion, at least on that list. You think? And the, and the Gemstones. Yeah, the, the Heroes Drink and Healing Potion are kind of like your Tier 3 items. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, here's the Fun Enemy, Wyverns. Yeah, they're not that bad. In this game. Yeah. Oh, yeah, okay, fair. Gemstones. We have the Earth Orb. Crystal Ball holds great power of Earth Spirit. Oh, valuables is what that's supposed to be. Oh. Yeah. So I'm trying to figure out what the fuck Volbs could be. Don't you just love character limits? So you say In heroes, games? heroes drink and healing potions want to shame for? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, if you do want items there. Might as well, right? Yeah, Silent Flute is useless and Honey Bread. Yeah, I think you already have a few, so. Fuck it, do it again. I like how this is eventually devolved into the like the exact same way we did the playthrough last time, where I just kind of glance at maps to get through the mazes, because I'm like, eh, I don't want to be stuck hanging around with this. Oh wow, Lamia. Welcome to most RPGs. I mean, I guess. That's a fair point. Oh, he's, he's doing a lot of damage. Okay, let's heal. I can't remember the last time I streamed an RPG and I didn't look at a map of a game I didn't know. Good news, Mel has a Rosa Bison painting to your P.O. Box. Oh, fuck yeah. I'm excited to go find that. I don't know how Reese will react. <laughs> well, I mean, if it's going down to the office, it won't be anywhere else in the house, so she'll be fine. I actually have a pretty good spot to put that now that I think about it. Definitely hurting a lot, so it's gonna help the fence. Oh, and we're spirit gemstones. Defense is 30. Since defense goes so slow, I keep forgetting, like. Oh, fuck. Oh, 
already. Alright, fine. No, no tooling around this time. No, no, you're stronger than that. Uh, which probably means... There we go. Ooh, that hurt a lot more. How much health does this one enemy have? Well, not much if I only got one MP back. Oh, this is a better kill. Oh boy, okay. Oh boy. How I feel right now. There we go. Much weaker enemies. Wyverns. drops it's like plus 14 today and then some like in a day or two it's gonna be minus two as the high oh yeah that's remind me thank you for sending more snow my way gladly gladly get rid of it at this point uh i guess i don't need can't use it here i can't throw them away huh okay that kind of sucks yeah you don't need those giant shoes at all those are just taking space Use them in fights to get rid of them, I guess, at this point. Like right now! The full screen is mine! <laughs> If you want, you could basically just run corner to corner and get a whole bunch of agility experience. I mean, that's kind of a plan right now. I mean, we got, we got a couple of these. We should probably just... Use a couple here. What do we got? Uh, 69 agility. Nice. 69 agility, dead on at zero. Another one. Probably just going diagonal corners would be best. Yeah. If, if you are trying to optimize your strategy. Teasing it like this. Like, we assume this works, right? Uh, I'm guessing. I don't see why it wouldn't. Oh, yeah, the I... shoes are done. Okay. Yeah, it's just a temporary item. Put our agility to 71 with 30 yep. extra. Nice. Yeah, it was working. Amazing. I knew someone was going to do it. I knew someone would do it. Nice. Do we have any more of those? Here we do. Someone had to do it. Oh, 
Uh -huh, I thought that, that would look... That felt like that wore off fast. Yeah, I think it was a turn less than the last time. Yeah, that's what I thought. Because I know in 64, certain status buffs do randomly last two to five turns. But I thought items had a fixed duration. Agility at 72. Well, that's definitely a good use of those items. Do you have any more, or was that actually it? That was it! Oh shit, wrong button. Get some magic back. One of the panels should list all the uh, uh, bit and donation alerts. Yeah, it's just all underneath the uh, the stream, so it's nice and easy to figure them out. I think there's just one or two missing from there, and that's it. I think the 4004 is missing, and 1337 is missing. Uh, I would say... I would say it's better than uh, plus 64. Not that that's a high bar, but yeah. John, how we going, man? Hope your night's going well. Got some BF4 and beer over here. Nice. Uh, it's going all right. This is this game is more surprisingly enjoyable than I expected, which has been throwing me off. You're not, you're enjoying it more than 64. Yeah, I think it's also because it's a pretty like it's pretty fast. Yeah. Oh, that only did two damage that time. Cow alert's also not on there yet? Jesus, everyone uses cow and it's not even on the list, surprising. Go for it, Fox. Oh my god. Man, my neck is killing me. I don't know what's going on here. Is Chugga okay? Uh, yeah, why? <laughs> Did he post anything that made it seem like he isn't? No, not that I saw. We found the green tube. This is like the vine or something that we go across, isn't it? And why do you ask, Fox? I'm curious. You did, says. Congratulations. I don't see anything from Chaga to. Oh, uh, okay. No, so they said, uh, no, no, just a while back he didn't post for a bit. Thought COVID hit him heavy. Was worried. No, Tim was visiting him. That was why. Don't worry. He's fine. Now all we need to do is get you and Tim visiting them at the same time. Uh, yeah, that's gonna be the real kicker. Well, our government finally said that our our uh, QR codes for our vaccination reports are finally good for international travel. So, it can happen. The question is, do you want? <laughs> ah, no. there uh, is. I mean more, no, I mean more or less do you wanna risk do you are you comfortable flying? Personally not super yet. 
But like, my family's already done a bunch of flying. Uh, my friends have, so I know that it's it's as safe as it can be. I'm enjoying. I. Hmm. I want to travel again, but I also don't want to have to bring my mask everywhere. If that makes sense, I would like if I I would love to travel and have it be like it used to be. I know that is going to be a long ways off still. Well, hopefully if everyone's wearing their masks, it's less likely you'll get sick at a con, hopefully. And also that, too, yeah. Yeah, I know, Zeno. Guy can hope, though. A girl can dream, as the saying goes. Throw the stick. Yeah, you'd you think. Does he? Does Brian need the stick for the spells? I don't remember. Well, it's his magic staff. So you are the spirit tamer from Mill Road. You know the power of the Elatale, but can you beat it? I will test your power. Dagron. Rock level three. Surprise extra boss in this game. You said Earth was his weakness? No, I was thinking the next boss. Oh. See, uh, he, I think his fire is so water. Yeah, I mean, that does seem like it, but I'm just gonna... This rate. I feel like I'm using just getting more effects on than anything else at this point. Uh, there's ice wall. What was spear armor again? Earth. Thank you. There it is. Hmm, that still hurts. It's not nearly as much, at least. Uh, Frozen. Uh, my main job is dragoon. Wow. Why am I not surprised? I'm a jumpy boy. Well, Dragon can fly. And what is flying but jumping really, really high? For long periods of time. Oh, bye, Dragon! Bye. Do -do 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 -do. Bye, Dragon. Alright, next town, where are we? Moon, I think they said? Yep. Yes. Four travelers came to this town, and one of them was very cute, but I haven't seen him lately. I wonder what's happened to him. Well, we've almost got all spells at this point. I can't even think of what's left that we don't have. Vampire's Touch. Magma. Well, that's a typo. I don't have hot steam level two. Weaken all which is 22 on Earth and Wind. And Rock Shower. Have you seen a man with piercing eyes? Not, not on the Game Boy. Spirit gemstones. Heroes drink. Fresh 
bread. I'll leave that there. More bread. Sounds like this is a mill. Steam 2 is 22 on fire and water. This is Wim is trying to stop the wind. It's still safe here, but how long will it be safe? Okay, I show I'm the best floor tank in the game. Oh, wait, why can't I stay in the inn? What the fuck? Let me stay in the, let me stay in the damn inn. Ah, it's Leonardo. You are the spirit monk from Melrode. I am the genius magician Leonardo from Baragoon. I'd like to match skills with you. Oh, shit. Oops. Surprise. Surprise! I was not ready for this. Oh my god, that one. Oh my god, what the fuck? I'm gonna go ahead and put that on. Would you rather us not say anything? Would well, I, I thought we had just discussed that there weren't any optional fights. I guess that's not the case. There we go, fire. Um. You're very good. Do you know about Zels, the spirit monk living in the North Tower? He has stopped the wind. I can't wait to see who will defeat him first. It must be you or me. Okay, bye. Or was that not optional? There are no optional bosses. Okay. That, that's actually the story beat. So, Magnet Rock would have been a good thing to use on that because... Uh, because Leonardo was wind element. Odd question, is Game Eye a good app for game collecting catalog? I've never used Game Eye, but if it's the one I think it is, I heard it's alright. Why was there a space between the O and S? Here's just a typesetting bug, but it looked weird. Well, I mean, as it is, they, they, instead of an O, they seem to use a zero. At least that, because they make the O so small, it looks like that. It was this guy, right, Oscar? Oh, yeah, Oscar. Yeah, this looked weird. Yeah, uh, so when the game says you obtain something, I always see it as zero obtain. We only got one, yeah, we only got one orb so far. Orb. We cannot make bread without wind. Let's get that at least. Oh, two of them, nice. Yeah, they're easier to see in the field in this version. Oh, that's an understatement. Alright, that's our third wing? Fourth wing, okay. Fellow spirit teamer disappeared not far from here. Windward Forest. Uh, I didn't expect the sad, mysterious music. You were too late. He feared me and fled to Windward Forest. Oh, okay, bye. This, this music has not convinced me of that, Leonardo. I'm sorry.
Ow, 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 ow. God, I just looked at the map. This area is huge. Oh, God. Oh, shit. I remember this forest now. Oh, God. Yeah, yeah it's, it's very long, map. but uh, mostly straight line. Spirits, I think. Yeah, I see at least one on this map, but. Yeah, there's one. definitely spirits. There's one. I see one chest on the map. But it doesn't. It's gonna take so long with the fucking way we get into fights. That's a big boulder! So the other file is still ahead of where we've been so far? Yes. Yes, by quite a bit, actually. I'm surprised, because our stats are, like, way better than theirs at this point. Maybe it's a speedrun file. Maybe? I doubt it. Is, John, that's not your file before, is it? You got no. this used? This is used, yeah. Yeah, because you don't get to that point until after your third elemental gem. And we haven't even got the second one yet. Yeah. They probably didn't grind, but they have 40 magic and everything. I guess that grinding's a bit more obvious, but... Maybe I'm overthinking. Or maybe they ran from fights? That would also make sense. screener. Okay. Is this the same franchise as Quest 64? This is literally a uh, Game Boy Color like remake of Quest 64. It make, makes it take longer than anything at this point. It's not exactly a Final Fantasy summon, but damn it, it doesn't take a bit. Good enough to make the fool me. Oh, I mean, it's it's official. It is an official release. Yeah. This is from '99. It's not like a fan-made game.
And yeah, there's another Quest 64 game too on the Game Boy that's basically just Mr. Do. Oh yeah, what was what was Vampire? Vampire's touch. Basically, if you whack him with a stick, you'll get help. That's what I figured. Or vans. I mean, I wouldn't mind a couple extra vans. Well, if you get a couple of vans, then you and Reese could drive to the cons. Exactly. It didn't look like it was, it was actually giving you anything. It was giving me seven. But I didn't see your health go up. Unless I missed it. It said seven, unless it was MP for Vampire. But I didn't see your MP go up either. Well, then I have no fucking clue. Uh, are these Arachnids again? Giant ants. Wind. Magma Ball. What's the combination for Avalanche again? Uh, Earth, Earth, Fire, Earth. There we go. Yeah. So what was the... I had, there was something else other than Avalanche. What the fuck was it? It wasn't Rolling Rock. Magnet Rock? No, not that. Trying, I can't remember what the fuck it was. Ah, fuck it. Have some boulders. God, looking at looking at Brian's sprite from the back there like that, he looks like Tom Servo. It's just the right amount of the color, like change in color. Uh... Yeah, kind of because of the red cloak. Yeah, it kind of works. Yeah. Let's see. There is, a, is there some other Tom Servo other uh, than that? There's, there's mystery... only one. Because the only one I'm aware of is Mystery Science Theater. That is the one. <laughs> uh, Tom? I don't get you. Nobody does. I'm like the wind, baby. To the map. Just checking something here. Doesn't look like there's anything up. Yeah, no, I just wanted to check something. I forgot how to do ice wall, and I just caved and just was like, eh, I'll get some MP back. So once I get everything to 23, that's it. I don't need like that. I've got 22. All spells. Oh. 22 is all spells. So we've so, got everything. All right. Yes. Yeah. At this Sick. point, I would say just keep throwing things in the wind. All right. Well, maybe not well, here I, since everything is anti-wind, basically. Yeah, I would. I would keep it even, especially with fire and earth, and of course water if you want more healing. But you'll, you'll fill them all up before long, so doesn't really matter. Silver Annual. Yeah. <laughs> 
Is it in tight? Well, let's do it. Thank you. I'm gonna do it again. <laughs> That's with me turning away from the mic, too. God, I hate when the weather can't make up its mind. Oh. Brother, otherwise, would have used that instead. You didn't grab the item. All right. Oh my god. <laughs> I was wondering. That nah, was unintentional. Yep. Oh, well, you just filled your space. Son of a bitch. Well, I need to. I'll take the heal anyway. <laughs> The treasure chest was empty! Oh, shit. Oh, this is a reminder that they're... The Earth. You know, when I played through this game, uh, first thing I maxed out was when, when I did my research, it said, Yeah! Uh, wind is bread and butter. I mean, it makes sense at this point, because it does basically hit everything. Uh... There should be a building up here. I think the building has an item inside. Uh, speared in front of it at the very least, so. Oh, another one here. And. Spirit gemstones! How many of those we got at this point? 13. Not enough. Is the answer. I generally don't know how many I need. Generally, if do not know the answer to the question. If it's a currency in the game, there's no, unless it's a Zelda game, there's no such thing as too much currency. Yeah, fair enough. Playing Skyrim, I only have about what thirty thousand gold, and that's not enough. You'll need at least 34. I'll need at least 34? Yeah. Man, what the hell do you even buy with it? Well, you'll find out later. Right. Next stream, probably. That's what I figured. It's very simple. What it gets you is redacted for spoilers. Okay, fair enough. I honestly oh, can't much. wait to see your reaction. Well, that makes me wonder what the fuck it is even more, then. It is a thing. And that's all I'll say. Okay.
Don't stand in my way, little monk. I was the one chosen for the wind jade. I will not forgive the people of Baragoon who made light of this power. <coughs> I don't know what you have against Baragoon, but I'm your opponent now. Brian, don't meddle. I can take care of him alone. What? What hat? Brian, be careful. This is a tough guy. Good old Zels. Oh yeah, that's uh, that's a lot of damage. That's not the spell I was trying to put in. Yeah, he's just very deadly. So when's the last time you saved? <laughs> uh, in the hut, I think. As soon as I saw you going towards it, oh no, he hasn't saved in a bit. We'll be fine. He's wind, so. Well, now that you have your magic armor, you should be fine. Yeah, one hit at him. Good ol' avalanche. I apologize Again. to you all. I was just trying to protect Normoon from Baragoon's attempt to eradicate the spirit monks. Bye. Baragoon trying to get rid of the spirit monks? I have never heard anything like that. <coughs> Brian, we'll have to postpone our match until we meet again. Whee! Yeah, it was, he only had 580 HP, so that one avalanche one-shot him. Barely, though. Oh, I finally found you. Please help me again. Uh... This mermaid orb you gave me was old and does not have enough power. Please ask Epona for another one. What the fuck? Okay. Thank you, Brian. I can borrow the power from this mermaid orb to send you to Epona. Oh, it's you again, Brian. I'm sorry, there's no orb here. Go to the stone circle in the inner chambers on the Isle of Sky on Loch Kildry. You'll find an orb there. Borrow one from Colleen the Sorceress. Oh, you're the little monk I met before. You have the nerve to ride in my boat. There's something strange about this lake recently. I've heard a sorceress spirit tamer of the water is staying on Isle of Sky. That's where I'm going. I want to go to the Isle of Sky also. I'll take you because I know you are not just an ordinary kid, but don't do anything willful. Thank you, Kiliak. Stop saying that. You're making me blush. What do you want? Fine, fuck. Jesus. Just wanted to say hi. God. Board. Normally I would toss you in the water. <laughs> oh, that's nice. You can sleep anytime you want. What do you plan to do? Yes. Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Someone's cell phone's ringing. Is that a thing? Wing sunfish. but it's a pity you have to stay a spirit tamer. How about it, you wanna be a pirate? Oh, I see, the island. That house over there is probably it. I'll see you later. Oh yes, this area. Yeah, wow. so this is the place where you did the crazy grinding in 64. Oh uh, yeah, that's what I, that's what I thought. 
Wow, Brian, I'm surprised. Do you know this pirate? He sickens me. Jesus. The strangest in the lake is not my doing. There, something is strange. Was it because your treasure stolen? Well, it was my mistake for allowing the water jewel to be stolen. Where did the thief go after he stole the water jewel? It looks as if the enemy escaped to the bottom of this lake from Stone Circle. You really blew it. There is a fissure at the bottom of the lake, and it is impossible to reach it unless you have considerable power. I'll get it back. Good boy. You're a spirit tamer after all. That's how it should be. Why don't you keep quiet, Kiliak? Brian, please bring back the water jewel. Now. <coughs> okay, I don't know why I feel like I'm suddenly fighting off a cold. That's not good. Please don't tell me I just got randomly ass sick out of nowhere. Very upset if that's the case. It is not the cat transformation. Stop it. It's not how it pretty works. Pretty sure it's the cat transformation. Although, it would actually be funny if this was an allergic reaction to Bagel's medicine. <laughs> well, I, guess we're, I guess this is gonna be a melee fight, okay. Can they not do anything else? Oh, they did, they changed their mind. But uh, only once, apparently. Good AI. Time of the game with color. <laughs> I'd see you laughing, Jump. All right, I, I have to look. I don't think anything's been posted. I think they're just laughing because they can. Oh, for fuck's sake! Well, we're gonna get plenty of uh, health increase chances by the looks of it. So who wants to draw John as one of those Animorph covers? Oh god! <laughs> to be fair, there's like an Animorph cover maker you can use. It's not the best, but it <laughs> it does work. Fish! Yes, there is... I believe that because John consumed the uh, cat medicine. I didn't consume it, it got sprayed all over me. Consume. What's the difference? Uh, a considerable amount, actually. I feel. Ah, details, details. And that uh, he's slowly turning into a cat. I am not turning into a cat. Phil Chat seems to think otherwise. keeps comparing to that damn episode of Spongebob. <laughs> the fuck? Oh, your fire types, okay. <coughs> yes. So, what's your thought on yarn balls, John? I'm gonna punch you. <laughs> I'm gonna fucking punch you, dude. You gonna go play with Bagel's weed bag? No, I'm good. I know where the good stuff is, anyways. I can't believe John's gonna turn into a cat. God damn it, chat. To be fair, how many. Oh. How many superheroes were born by being doused in something rather than ingesting it? I mean, I guess. Oh, fuck. Okay, good. Is it done? 
grabbing random spells. What is it with video games? Where there's always a secret in the middle of a stone of... I mean, to be of, fair, it's just, it's just a thing off a of Stonehenge at this point. Yeah, this boss is going to be... Well, I'm sure you can guess based on the environment. Yeah. I'm sure it's yeah, it's going to be the fire elemental, right? Oh, is it just a straight shot to the boss? Yes, it is. Okay. Who came through the fissure? What? You are only a child. What did you come for? With this water jewel, the world is mine! I will let no one stand in my way. Good fight. It's 700 HP. <laughs> yes, this is the water jewel. I must hurry to where everyone is waiting. Look at me hurry to where everyone is waiting. Are you supposed to be this overpowered? I'm not really, like, grinding, per se. Yeah, this is just how the game is designed. Like, the original game, you had to grind. I mean, I grinded out, like, agility so I could move around the field. That's basically all I did. Everything else has come from, like... Like, we were in an area where every fight was giving me, like, a magic level up, which is ridiculous. I'm not complaining, mind you. I do appreciate actually having some strength to use, but it was just surprising. <coughs> Thinking back to the N64 game, you nuking these bosses is cathartic as hell. I mean, that's true. Yeah. I forgot I shouldn't have done that. Starting to run a little bit out of MP again. Now, now's a good time to use it. Give me 22. Nice. More or not. Try again. Stop hitting the same one. Fuck. There we go. Is our agility at this point? Because it feels like I can get around the screen really fast. 91. Whew. 
Jesus. Got your orb. I'd like to take it with me, but I know Colleen would give me a stern scolding. It's amazing that Brian was able to bring back the orb from the fissure. Sorceress of Kilderly was protecting the water jewel for a great spirit tamer. And more fun teasing Colleen, I will come more often from now on to tease her. What'd you say? Brian, please take this ill-mannered man with you. That's not possible. The boat needs to be repaired after that battle. I don't mind you being in trouble, but we can't let Brian get into trouble. Come here, Brian. I'm gonna hide you in the closet. You can go to opponent from here. Give him my best regards to her. I mean, you can give your own regards yourself. You literally have a warp to her house. Well, you got the water jewel. It seals in the power of the Elotale book. If you make a mistake, you might release the power, but if you're strong, you can counteract that power. You must become stronger. That orb has chosen you. Okay, then, I'll send you back to Layla's place. Take care of yourself and... Hold on to the water jewel. Give this one to Layla instead. God, I've just been warped everywhere. <laughs> but at least I didn't have to walk, so I guess I won't actually complain. Alright, you gonna dance again? Another spin! Brian, I really want to thank you. But I'm not going to. Okay. Let's go quickly heal the inn. Okay, where to now? I guess the forest below here? Seems like uh, the... You're gonna go back to the boat. That... Really? Yeah. Yeah. As if you remember the plot of 64, the boat stops here because the wind and water stopped. Yeah, but we haven't fixed the wind yet, though. Yeah, you have the jewel from Zel uh, Zels. Oh shit, you're right! <laughs> Completely fucking forgot. You're welcome. <laughs> Wait, but we never did Windward Forest, right? Or was that actually- Oh no! Oh, right! It loops around. Uh, yeah, that's it. But you can't go to Windward Forest this direction until you beat Zels. That's locked. Gotcha. And there's nothing looks like we missed there. Oh, there, there's like one element, that's it. But I'm good. Uh, alright, back to the boat then. We might actually... We've got 17 minutes of gameplay left. We might be able to get to the next town. Well, we should be able to. But not where the other file was. I... You'll get the same location-wise, but not, not necessarily progress-wise. Gotcha. Since I don't know what story portion that file's at. I assume this has way more MP than I do, that it's probably farther ahead. I'm fighting the tiny boat. I think when we last played in that file, it also had the fire wings. Yeah, our HP is way over what theirs was, but our MP is nowhere near it, and our magic levels aren't there either. But our agility is yeah. way past it. Our defense is nowhere near it, though. Holy shit, I just realized our defense is only 34. Yeah, he definitely was using spells instead of hitting with a stick. But, like, his agility is nowhere near ours now. Like, our agility is way past his, so he must have also just, like, stood in place. Yeah, Cold, uh, John beat the 64 version uh, three years ago, so he's already beat it. 
What do you do to raise max MP? Use spells. Every spell use is like 4% to experience towards it. Something like that. Oops, sorry, I didn't need to do that. So how far in the game would you say we are right now? Maybe, well, once you get to the, the town here, maybe halfway. Damn, alright. So yeah, we'd easily be able to beat this in just <coughs> one more stream. Nice. But this fight, uh, there's a path you can go south uh, that has a spear if you're interested. Sure. Might as well just keep up in the power. Maniacal! Slowly learn to hate shirts. Ah, so you're a nudist now, got it. Congratulations on your new life. Ah. Not me! <laughs> Are you sure? Are you sure? You seem pretty convinced you hate shirts. I'm sure think what you want to think. <laughs> curious what you were playing, Maniacal. All right, let's run countermeasures. Do we not run? You know what? I haven't run Christmas yet. Merry Christmas. Ah! Aren't you gonna like break it up into nine parts for Hanukkah? <laughs> oh shit! You're right. I should have done that. I'm slightly disappointed you didn't bring back the, the the classic Brian running in a circle gif from three years ago. Oh, there's there's still time. I didn't want to I didn't want to play my hand a little too early. <laughs> Thank you for the raid, maniacal. Uh, we're doing game clearing, and as you can see, we're playing Quest Brian's Journey, the the D make slash better version of Quest 64. That's a lot of damage. Uh... No, no, it was it was it was my choice, maniacal. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, he's like, I'm mad and also not surprised. This is Dragonfire's choice. Yeah, good call. I completely forgot to put this on as one of my choices, I don't... Oh my god, this cockatrice has a lot of health. Hopefully it doesn't know petrification. Our defense is barely going up. I'm a little nervous about that. Yeah, so I'd recommend going up from here and a do town exploration today and then head south and get spirits later. I'm gonna grab the spirit that's just down here quickly. Because it'll probably start out next time going south there, because that's the next dungeon. Make it to town is the real question. You're acting like something's going to one shot you or something. I mean, that cockatrice almost did, to be fair. 
A spirit monk came the other day. He had a beard. You look like him. Seems he was searching for something. He was listening to the town gossip. It appears that he went to Baragoon, but I wonder if he was able to get out of the ruins. In a mountain outside of the Limeland, there is the ruins. There's Shannon again. This is a very beautiful town, but I wonder why people built such a useless and useless capital. While the capital might be here a thousand years from now, there's no one who can live that long. Be grateful that I'm letting you say, Jesus, you're running in, you asshole! <clears throat> yeah, these are the Metabot devs that made this, uh, Imagineer. Red Wings! So there's one other very important building in the town that also has an icon on it. The pub. Okay. The, another. There's another one. <laughs> <laughs> You're still a little child. Come back when you grow up, okay? If you run out of Heroes Drink, please tell me. Carmog is a country founded by a merchant called Ho Sun Shriker or Shrieker. <clears throat> Deanna was his queen and she now rules the castle. I don't know if I should just try to max out fire at this point, just have something maxed out. Did you know that a killer was in the jail on the outskirts of town? All of jailkeepers, all of jailkeepers were burnt to a black char with magic fire. They say Fargo is a killer. It is scary. There are only the nobility in this town. It is the richest town in Seltland, but I think my home is the best to me. It's nice. You got three beds. Grandfather clock. No one else living with you, unless those are for the two kids. <clears throat> Fine, I'll leave the bread there. Prince William seems to like my daughter. If she becomes queen, I'll be a royal family. You will be an entire family, ma'am. Congratulations. My mother wants me to see, see me marry the prince, but I prefer you. Well, do you have a girlfriend? How old is Brian even supposed to be? I have a feeling he doesn't care about being taken yet. Or girls in, in general. That's a good question. There are many expensive items in the homes of nobility. It is troublesome. Steal it all? I'm on it. I'm on my way. But there's no sneak stat. Limeland is a big and stately town, and the most stately of all buildings in the town is my home. It leaves. And healing potion. Ah, shit. I can't get rid of anything. You win for now, rich man. So I find it funny you're going for fire. Why is that? Be because if you remember, what's the next elemental we'll be fighting? Yeah, it's the desert. I know. But I'm so close at this point, I'm like, oh, I might as well just finish it off. Brian's around the age of 12. Yeah, he probably doesn't care about girls just yet. Plus, he's also a monk, so... I wanted to say 12, but I wasn't certain. <clears throat> Man, body, please. 
There's no lottery in this whole wide world other than the one in line. So, when there's a one before prize. you oh. select now, save. Eight. Because this is a complicated system. Great. So this guy has some special items, but it's lotto based. You have, you can't just outright buy them. And they use the spirit gemstones, I assume. Yes, this is what the spirit gemstones are used for. So the best way to do it is safe scumming. My inventory's full, though. Uh, they are valuables. Oh, okay. The, the, well, the special items are. There are many so-called spirit gemstones in Seltland. You can enter the lottery after collecting the gemstones. You can win these ten prizes in the lottery. Mint leaves, healing potion, hero's drink, spirit light, dragon's potion, secret potion, warrior's cape, warrior staff, warrior's badge, orchestra. So you want the three warrior items and the orchestra. It looks like these cost a lot, though, because my, my gems are going down a fair amount. Yeah, there's seven, eight, nine, and then ten. Okay, which one which of these do I want, or should I just go for any of them? Do uh, you want to know their effects first? Sure. Yeah, so the, bat, the warrior's badge lowers the encounter rate. Okay. Uh, Warrior's Cape increases defense, which okay. is like having spirit armor on at all times. Okay. Uh, Warrior Staff increases offense. Here's my uh, orchestra or has soundtrack. Uh, orchestra, orchestra has sound test. Yeah. Uh, I'm torn between the encounter rate and defense up. I think badge would be better, personally. Really? I'm leaning towards Cape, I'm gonna be honest. Well, if you have lower encounter rate, then we can get through the game faster. True, but we also, with higher defense, then we don't have to worry about anything. I can just, just keep going full tilt no matter what. I'm thinking Cape. I'm gonna go Cape. Yeah, because we'll get more gemstones to get everything, so. Okay, so. Um. Look forward to now, getting... now what? Go wander around in the overworld for about five minutes. Five minutes? Yep. And then you find out if you win or lose. Are you shitting me? Nope. No? Why do you think I said I can't wait until I hear your reaction? That sucks. Yep. So overworld is in here, or overworld as in outside. Nope. Like monster fight area, Jesus. overworld. All right. Yeah, so just keep wandering around, and you'll get a p pigeon visit. That's so fucking dumb. Yep. Would you have rather us spoiled what they was, were for? Was that in the N64 game? No. no, this is in the Game Boy only. Yeah, the fun part is, if you lose the lotto, then you reset to your save file and you lose all the battle progress you just got. <clears throat> oh, that seven sorts of sucks. Do I have the move, or can I just stand here? You might be able to just wait. I'm not sure. Do you want to take the chance? I kind of don't. Uh, let, me... let me find the... That seems like something that someone would have written up about at this point. Um, the lottery and false last item says you must wait a while walking around in the outside world for about five minutes or so.
I think Mega Nerd does bring up a good point. It's probably counting by steps, not by actual time. Uh, I mean, yeah, that makes sense. I mean, that's some people. Oh, well, if we get more gemstones, it might be worth it. So, a good point. Worst case scenario, I can just grind this off stream. And there's our 90 second timer. Or, sorry, 90 minute timer. Let me turn on another one and see how long this takes, roughly. About it, wouldn't the badge make grinding the uh, the rest faster by virtue of less encounters? Sure. Now that I know how the mechanic works, yes. Now I get why Bubba was saying get the badge first, because it would indeed make getting the rest of them faster. But we're also we're one shotting most enemies at this point. Maybe this is why the other file was in this town. Yeah. I had a feeling, I, but I didn't want to say it or hint to it. Fair enough, I appreciate it. At game clearing, I generally do try and play my cards close to the best. Makes you wonder if the maxed out elements was because of this crap? Yeah, I'm beginning to think that's the case. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. Oh, here we go. There's something on the pigeon's leg. Sorry you didn't win the prize. Please come again. Fuck off. And reset. Oh, that sucks. All right, well, let's check something here first and foremost. Let's load the other file and see if they did get all these. Oh, they're in the fucking lottery room. Oh my God, okay. They've got the fire ruby. And none of these things. And only two gemstones, so they likely were gambling, but didn't save. Oof. 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 So yeah, you, if you want to work on that, you can probably do that off stream. Is I don't know how many, what what the chances are. I see no information on chances on any of the guys. Alright, so, how many valuable? I have 14 spirit gemstones. Take 7 for cape, 8 for staff, and 9 for the badge. So if I go for cape and I get one random drop in the fights, I can go immediately do the staff or badge as well. And I, well, the staff, because the badge would need another one, so. Yeah. I think that's what I'll do. Uh, let's give this one more shot right now. And then win or lose, we stop. How about that? Sounds good. This way I can also time how long this will take, roughly. Yeah, this is probably the worst aspect in the game. The worst mechanic. I can see why fully. Alright, my timer just hit uh, 
26, so let's see what happens here now. Uh, I have a stopwatch going and I started it as soon as you exited. Him. Same spell again. Nice, nice, John, nice. Are we gonna pull a Tron and, gam and gamble on gambling? Oh, God. I mean, if anyone wants to run a prediction, you can. But I feel like looking at that other file might not exactly give people a vote of confidence. Do we even need to fight while we wait? We're not sure. That's the thing. We don't know. Give it two minutes. Since it takes about five minutes, I put a two minute prediction. Gotcha. Unsurprisingly, every majority of vote no. Yeah, I can't say I blame anyone on that one. We got like a three to one odds on no. Well, yeah. What would the payout? Right now, the payout for yes would be one to four. Ooh, someone did a big on yes. Oh, fuck! Oh, so, uh, oh wow! Ooh, some jump. people are putting in a lot of money on, on yes, wow. Wow! Sorry, a lot, of egg, a lot of egg points, so that's gonna actually swing it so they're not gonna get much back. It's 60-40 it's right. on ES right now. Some people are being brave. Dark Knight Cecil uh, is the big on yes, and the one that's big on no is Nocturnum Bras. Oh, boy. Nocturnum. It's... Chat is being very interesting. Almost three million points. Damn, oh. it's fifty. It's fifty-eight percent. Nope. Forty-two. Yup. One point seven million eggs on nope. One point two on yes. Let's find out. That took three and a half minutes. Actually, that wasn't that bad. Sorry, I didn't win. Yeah, that was three and a half minutes for that. You know what? That was way faster than I thought. I'll give it one more try. We'll make it three tries on stream. So, uh... Oh, I was gonna say, maybe not pay it on this one and we'll give him a second chance, but never mind. Well, I figured we can do it again. Yeah, we can. wonder this game didn't sell that well. I mean, this mechanic sucks, but it's... That's like a random mechanic for something that you don't even need in the game. Like, it's not... There are worse things and better things in this game to be uh, upset about, I guess, in a random side game. Like but it the does one suck that would... content like that tied away. Be happy this wasn't made by, like, modern EA. Otherwise, we'd have to pay for the gemstones. Hmm. I'd be concerned if they had that for Game Boy Color, of all things. 
Well, obviously they'd be pointed everywhere, so it wouldn't be on... And they would monetize the hell out of it. Alright, we already got the gemstones we need for the next one, so I better... I really hope this is... we get it on this one. <laughs> Insert money straight into the cartridge. You gotta put it in the battery slot, guys. That's where the most room is, obviously. The cartridge slot might be bill-shaped, but the battery slot at least looks like a little thing you feed it in like an ATM. Yeah, now they're almost <laughs> really... I don't know. Oh no, it's like the Game Boy printer, but it's just like a credit card swipe. <laughs> This link cable. Alright. Odds on this one are. 50 uh, 50. 50. Wow. Uh, big, the biggest person that put in on Yay was Punkson. And. No again for Noctum Bras. I really hope I am pronouncing that name right. My question is, how is John's luck going to handle this one? Well, here's the thing I'm going to say right now. If I manage to get uh, another drop of the gems from this cockatrice, there's no way we get it on this turn. That's just, like, just seems like game, the game is just playing us at that point. This is gambling in the true sense. There's no skill involved. Yeah, it's just random chance, but at least there's no money involved, which is the important thing here. Yes. All right, I'm almost back at town, so that should mean we'll see the results here pretty soon. So here's the question. Do you grind? If you don't get it, will you reset or will you save? Oh, I'll reset if I don't get it. I'll. I want to keep the points. Sorry. All right. That's that then. Then we will tap out here for the evening, and I guess I'll spend time on that off stream and see how long it takes me to get off stream. I'm gonna call it I'm now. I'm gonna call it now. I'm gonna do one run after the stream is over. I'm calling it now. That's gonna be the time it shows up. Of course, that's how it always works, John. Yep. Yep. Now, I've watched these streams enough to know how your luck works. Continue that next week and possibly also finish it next week by the looks of it. Or Most we'll get likely. Really damn close, either way. If we get really close, will you push it? Depends on the time. Depends on the day and the time. We'll see. But I'm actually going to duck out here because I have to. Do I'm actually surprised you stayed on as long <laughs> as you did, but thank you for doing it. Yeah, no problem. I'll definitely be around for part two, so I'll see you guys later and I'll see you later, chat. Take it easy, dude. Night, Dragon.
<sighs> All right, schedule for the week. Uh, nothing Tuesday, Wednesday. I we're doing crowd control. We're gonna do crowd control of a couple games. So I gotta remember to set that up. Also, I'm gonna be on uh, Big John's channel at some point. I think it's six o'clock my time on Wednesday because he's doing a retro gaming competition. I am entered into it. Uh, so that will be six o'clock my time at uh, twitch.tv slash Big John. B I G J O N. Thursday is Top Down Perspective. Friday is nothing going on there. And Saturday is regular fortune cookie. I don't think the schedule deviates for a little bit. Until the week of the 18th. Yep, the week of the 18th is when we have the uh, Smile Time Charity, and we were on, we're on that. So we've got a little charity marathon that we're a part of coming up then. And we're going to do something chaotic. Not chaos, fortune cookie chaotic, but still kind of chaotic. Uh, but yeah, that's the schedule for the week otherwise. Next week, next Monday is game clearing as usual, and we'll be back to try to finish this up. I am hoping to get recordings done for YouTube soon so YouTube can start coming back. I picked a really bad time to stop posting YouTube videos as this is the time that, you know, ad revenue is actually worth the most. So, good job, me. Well done. But yeah, no, YouTube should be back soon. Disc only next week. Disc only is actually moving to a different date next week. Uh, but only by one day. It's going to be on the 8th, not the 7th. So it's going to... So the the Wednesday stream is going to start like an hour early, and then it'll just go into a usual day. I think... I think it's Power Trip next week? Yeah, it's been a bit. So Power Trip should be next week on the 8th. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Oh, nothing. Should I be concerned? No, not really. No, I'm concerned. I thought people want to crack a joke. Yeah, that's this Wednesday. <laughs> Crowd controls in two days. All right. Uh, let's drop eggs. Cryptic Canid for 38. The Video Game Raptor Boggle for 58. Storm of Explodium for 47. Super Flaming 85 for 61. Mecha GM for 55. Queen Chi for 19. Zeta Program 142 for 11. Board, uh, Bore Adam. Sorry, I keep saying Bored AM, and that's not even what it is. Uh, Bore Adam for 14. Proof Gold for 89. Vincent DC 15 for 28. Silk Mirage for 50. Snow Toast 282 for 20. Tails for Aga for 65. Oh man, Quest 65. You're right. Does his look infected for 48. And Royal Serpent for 57. And Video Game Guru 64 for 39. Thanks for subbing, everybody. Your eggs tonight are courtesy of... I think I had one left in the carton. Yes, I did. From Game Fan, John is a little too excited. Uh, Dropbox? There we go. You say John is a little too excited, but I can't help but notice this is just Steven's face. <laughs> Okay, maybe tone it down on the screaming a little bit. <laughs> Thanks, yeah. game. Thanks, game fan. All right. Uh, quickly hop back. Let me quickly read donos, and let me get art block ready. Actually, art block's already pretty much ready. Uh, yeah, we'll go for it. Because uh, there was a bunch of cows earlier, right? Everyone was doing that while we were waiting around. 
Dullahan says, we're on a quest to make Soul Calibur 6 Brian Cannon. Ah, beefy, beefy Brian, of course. Hypercole says, hi, Ma, I'm in the highlights. Wait, with a cow. Captain Joe with a cow. Grabobbly with a cow saying, hi, YouTube. My message is going to get wazowski by some cow. Captain Joe with another cow. Emony Chan says, John is secretly a lich who gains life by streaming. John will never die so long as Twitch lives and will instead become more powerful. If only it worked like that. I think the worst. I think that's just how the boobs kept happening. The more I stream, the more boobs I, the bigger the boobs get. That's about it. I think I would prefer the living forever part though. <laughs> Thief Dragon says, "Hey John, I just want to thank you and chat for." Oh wait, this is a bit. Hi YouTube. God damn it. Bubba does a cow and says, "Hey, I am YouTube. Like, comment, and subscribe." Well, congrats on being YouTube, Bubba. Captain Joe with another cow. Tick Crazy Dude says, like, follow, and subscribe. Am I doing this right? To be fair, I should actually be saying that because that actually works. That's the thing. We, we meme on it hard, but actually reminding someone to hit the follow button or hit the subscribe button or like tell them, hey, if you have Twitch Prime, you can use it here on the channel to help support me and I get the full amount of the money from it or I get a like a, the full percentage of it that I would normally get. Like, those reminders actually work. We, we dunk on it and meme on it all the time, like the Twitch Prime thing, but that, it actually does work. It's weird. Mine's weird. Bleach Bummer says, a little clean up for my la clear up for my last donation. I meant RPGs in general. Oh, okay. Not specifically this game. Never played Quest anyway, but been interested in watching since you started it today. Uh, yeah, it would depend on the game. I don't do RPGs that often on here anyways. Dr. Zox says, Imagineer is still around. They dissolved for a time in the 2010s and reformed as Rocket Company, then resumed their original name. How do I know this? Because they didn't just publish the Menorot Classics collection. They made all the Menorot games. Fair enough. See, look, Dolan just gifted a sub. I'm telling you, it, it's true. Say, reminding people that they can give subs and stuff like that actually works. It's weird. <laughs> Dolan says, don't tell me what to do. Okay, sorry. Uh, bum, 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 other people drop bits as well, like Boss123 and McJazz Hands. Thanks, guys. Bubba with the nice. Legend of Daniel says, don't know if this is a thing, but oh well. This is, yeah, that, that's just the weed alert. Udiptes says, how can you forget cow? Do we need four hours straight of cow alerts again? God, I don't know. I like the money, but I also don't know if I can handle that much cow. Guardian Joker says, want to try to get one last cow in for November this year. Now, that's true, because next stream is in December. Last month of the year. And veil. <laughs> veil Leaf says, Chairman Rose is Tom Nook Human Sona. Wow. Okay. All right. Fair enough. I learned something today. Not what I expected to learn, but I learned it. Okay. Let's go to our block. Hang on, I didn't turn on the art block transition. It's not the same. It's not the same. There we go. Better. All right, from Angels in the Window. Uh, well, here's my cute little <coughs> quick sketch for the night. Bry John. Yeah, odd name. Wanted to do something different than just do Proton Brian or Brian John. Also, there's a bartender anime out there, and funny enough, it's called Bartender. Uh, I fell in love with the anime and the manga through the manga is... Manga, though the manga is completely different. Manga is based more on the bartender himself, Ryu uh, Sasakura, while the anime is more on the stories of the people who are visiting the bar. Last I saw, the whole series was up on YouTube, subbed, and was completely amazing if you love the art of bartending. Neat. Sorry. Sorry about that, Angel. It's my fault. Yeah, I, was, I wasn't around when you messaged me. I don't have a calendar in front of me. Are you doing a stream on New Year's? Uh, New Year's... Day? Maybe, because it's a Wednesday. Oh, sorry, hang on. Sorry, New Year's Day is a Saturday. Sorry, I'm looking at the end of November. Um, no Christmas stream. No Christmas stream for sure, because I'm be visiting family. Uh, but New Year's Day? Maybe, unless something comes up. Because uh, January 1st is a Saturday. What about the 29th of December? What's special about the 29th of December? Are you streaming that day or not? Well, I mean, it, it's not a it's not a holiday, so I, I'd assume. It's my birthday. Oh, okay. 
That makes more sense, Bubba. Thanks for clarifying that. Other than being like, the 29th! <laughs> yes, there will be a stream that day. Happy early birthday. Thank you for the art, Angels. Ah, the picture I expected at some point. The booba artiste themselves. Yes, I too am a booba artiste. I guess the fur tuft does complicate showing off the shirt design, huh? Well, we know it could say Bubba Artiste. An artist of Bubba's. Thanks, Jumney. Next up, from Rockatoros, Bread Boy Origins. Been a long while since I posted anything, and I never thought Quest 64 would come back, albeit in 8-bit form. Hopefully this will get the ball rolling and get me to back into drawing again. I still have some business to finish before I could dedicate myself to dueling for the Buru again. Maybe by then I'll get the annual game clearing poster done for the year. Here's open. Hope you're doing good, Rocket. Thank you. Brian thanks you with for the bread. It's my birthday tomorrow. Happy early birthday, Shadow War! He 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 part two? Oh no. Oh no. Well, first off from Rosie. I hate this. Meow. This is how Animorphs works, right? I never read the books because the cover scared me. This is what got me laughing. I, I was going to say, this is more of a cat-dog situation, I feel. <laughs> what the fuck do I even name this abomination? <laughs> I'm glad I lead us all the same way, too. It starts quoting, uh, quoting the theme song to cat-dog. Gonna be 27 and already going through a midlife crisis. Don't worry, I had mine around, like, 23. You're fine. Beefy Brian from Mega Nerd. Someone asked for Buff Brian with his tiny normal head on top. This is what happened after all that hitting things with a stick. Also, I clicked on all the bicycles. Good. Thanks, Mega Nerd. And I think, I assume that is it, but I'm. Jumney's giggling makes me think I should hit the refresh button. Yep. <laughs> oh. <laughs> John, you weren't supposed to take the medication that was going to turn Bagel back to normal. At least Bagel seems to be having fun. Why is Bagel bigger? Did he have more of the medic? Did she have more of that medication? God damn it. Oh, how the turntables. Still can't prove anything. Uh-huh, yeah. You know what? I think if anything, Bagel would actually enjoy this right now because I have the I have been constantly picking him up for medication and to like bring him to the, the litter box so he'll use it. So if he could do the same to me, or she in this case, I think she would gladly do that. I've got so much cat fur on my shirts now, because he's also shedding. Because he's not going outside, so his, like, his winter coat isn't fully coming in. Thank you, Jumney, for giving my, I guess, daughter too much power. All right, and with that, folks, that's it for the evening. What's our raid message? Oh, your December is winter, not summer like mine. Yeah, no, Northern Hemisphere Turbo, sorry. Yeah, it's cold. I'm not turning into a cat. <laughs> so I think, oh yeah, the dirt at the, the dirt walkway at the very beginning. Yeah, no, a lot of people want high dirt. Hey, you know what? I'm down. Let's do it. High dirt. Let's see who's on. It's supposed to low dirt. I, on the off chance, I'm gonna see what happens if I type in Quest 64. <laughs> no, never that lucky. Hmm. Let's see if anyone's playing this. 
Nope, no one's playing this game outside of... Also, uh, the thumbnail for the stream right now is Gacha. Of course it is. <laughs> hmm, who do we raid? Eleanor is playing Super Punch-Out, so maybe not the best time to bother him. Uh, we could... I've never... Really, have we ever raided Takahata? We could do that. Show a fellow no. Canadian some love. Oh, it looks like they're, they might be wrapping up, actually, too. So let's go raid while they're at the bar. Oh, wait, the schedule's coming up. He actually might be ending. Alrighty, guys. Yeah, yourself a good night. Yep, yeah, fuck. Well, that's out. The port! Good thing I checked first before I put it in chat. Uh, then maybe let's go make a new friend. Let's see what's going on in Retro. Ooh, someone's playing Terranigma. Ooh. And they've That's got a good... wizard hat. Ooh. I swear, John, it's not me streaming. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Let's go say hello to Retro Island Gaming and tell them about High Dirt. Terranig was an excellent game. All right. Ark's confused. Oh, my God. My buttons are all different. I'm pressing left and I'm going down. We're gonna sit here and uh, hang in there. We'll be okay. A Proton John raid? Did I miss a... Did I miss a raid? What's up? Book. Detective Broken. Hi there, welcome in. Well, did I miss a raid, guys? I am so sorry. I didn't see anything pop up. Welcome in, if we have a raid. All right, go give him some love. Hang out. Tyranny was an excellent in. game. How did you? How did you? Highly do that? recommend it. Alito, what's up? Welcome everybody. Hold on. Love and, you guys uh, in here. And I'll catch you all on Wednesday for on crowd control, Alito. which I'm sure I will regret. TRG fan, how you doing? Uh, it does have a map. It's just a map. It's different. If you guys see a tweet stating "God damn it" or something like that in the next like ten minutes, that means I got it on the first or second try. But hi everyone. 